And the horror has begun. <laughs> Those screams and catawalls at ground gun. And Poe could be in here for all we know. Uh, but, uh, of course, today, guys, uh, welcome to the show. We are doing Hammer Horror, baby. Uh, the absolute classic movies that came out of Hammer Studios during the 60s and into the 70s. Uh, they gave us some absolutely amazing characters uh, from uh, the, the likes of Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing and uh, the rest of their uh, you know very famous crew. Uh, we all <clears throat> grew up on these and uh, certainly love these films and uh, happy to see you guys come in here and be part of it uh, we're going to see what our artists do today because I think uh, there's so much I mean there's so many movies that came out of Hammer Horror of course most people kind of just fall right into the uh, Bela Lugosi stuff or Christopher Lee and his Dracula and Peter Cushing as the Vampire Hunter of course uh, but uh, there are so many more uh, and this uh, little piece of art I found here, I thought, really uh, elaborated that uh, uh, and kind of gave a look at all the different monsters and things that you come across. Uh, so but anyway, let's uh, get in here and uh, uh, take a look at uh, what our guys are going to do. And uh, we've seen a lot of traditional going on today, which is kind of interesting, uh, appropriate maybe even. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and start over here uh, with... Uh, let me see. Let me jump this back over. Hold on a second. All right. All right. Okay, good. Uh, so let's start with El Rodimus. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? I'm great. I'm happy about this one, dude. I mean, we got a lot of ideas. Yeah, and here. Yeah, 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 it's going to be cool. Uh, there's some really cool things coming in the future, too. Some uh, really great ideas for shows. But uh, uh, this one is uh, something I, I absolutely adored when I was a kid. So uh, what, what are you thinking about uh, doing today, dude? Hmm. Maybe some uh, Peter Cushing. Ooh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be uh, nice. Doctor Who. Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Who. Doctor Who. Is that under Hammer Studios? I didn't know that. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> of course, uh, in the end, uh, uh, Elronimus will probably do about 1,200 pictures uh, in the next two hours. So, you know, it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, yeah, welcome, Ray Thulu. Uh, he's uh, li listing off names of uh, some of the nice, uh, pretty ladies that came out of Hammer Studios, and there were a lot of them. Uh, uh, very nice, very nice. All right, let's move down here to Mr. Eric Hawkins, the most hawkinging of all uh, Hawkins, I think. You know, that, puts you, that puts you in league with, uh, with a, a, cer a certain uh, su supposed genius. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what, what are you doing, Eric? Uh, well, you know, I'll be honest with you. I've probably seen a lot of these movies, but I didn't know what they were. You know, I didn't know they were Hammer Horror when I saw them, because they probably came out when I was a kid, like on Saturday morning on the local TV station. Sure. Where we had the three, you know, movies that came out in the afternoon, usually a horror movie and then some Evan Costello or something like that. So, But I did find one that I found really interesting. I know I haven't seen it. Uh, the Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. I think oh, I'm yeah. a bit from that. Yeah, yeah. That's epic. Uh, now, that one, I, I, I didn't know. Now, that might have been something that Hammer Horror per, uh, that distributed. They might have distributed yeah, that. But that that's a Chinese flick, actually. They produced it. Oh, Peter yeah. Cushion's in it, eh? Is he? Oh, damn. Yeah, man. yeah. All right, all right. That's it's a like little a bit of collab going it's on. Like horror, it's it's cool. not Christopher Lee as Dracula, but yeah, Peter Cushing's helps them out all the way through the movie. Right, there it's got you a go. few other English actors in it so as well. Fight yeah. that, Chester. Right, well, they, yeah. hey, you live and learn, dude. Uh, but pretty much, if you got a Christopher Lee uh, movie before the 90s, uh, it's a hammer uh, film, more than likely. I mean, he did so many movies with them. Uh, and his, uh, what has he got? Two, three hundred movies he's done? I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh, probably at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. Uh, yeah, shut up, JD. God. <laughs> All right. Uh, but uh, look forward to seeing what you're doing, Eric. Uh, let's move down the line. We got uh, Mr. Uh, Jiminy Cricket from Illustrations by Design. Uh, sir, very happy to have you in here today. Working traditional as well. It's just nice. Uh, what are yeah. you thinking, dude? You, you kind of fall in line with the last of us here. We're all kind of around the same age. So uh, you certainly uh, grew up with some horror stuff. So. Yes, yeah, so, so, sorry about that. Uh, I'm 20 years old. I'm 20, very young. Very young. Beautiful man, indeed. Uh, so, yeah, very uh, beautiful. Very beautiful. So, what, what are you planning? Uh, well, I just found out about this about five minutes ago. And then I was like, oh man, I got I got to try to do that. So, um, I'm probably going to take the, the lazy way out and just do Christopher Lee. Um, yeah. Or I might do um, Dr. Uh, Fives. Oh, that was, dude, that was exactly what was on my mind. That is mm. perfect, dude. Do that. Yes, the what is it called? The Incredible Doctor Fives or the, no, the Abominable? 
the abominable doc. That's right, the abominable doc. Doc Fives. Yeah. Very cool, dude. All right, I'm looking forward to see that. That's neat. Uh, well, thank you yeah. for being coming in here, by the way. And uh, we lost okay. El Rodimus. Hopefully, he jumps back in. Uh, I, I'm horrified, says Jeff Potts. So, oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, <laughs> moving down here to a very young man who is. Uh, uh, although he's certainly had a lot of life experience uh, having to dodge the Bojangles Mafia in the absolute terror and death trap that is uh, West uh, West uh, California. Uh, so uh, so tell us, JD, what do you plan on doing today? Oh, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna draw you know the Christopher Lee, but I'm gonna draw it in a style like old Justin Hammer. Because Justin Hammer was actually named after the Hammer Studios. I imagine oh, he cool. was. Yeah, yeah. Very nice reference there, Jamie. Good job. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, perfect. There you go. There you go. Throwing a little bit of comic book knowledge in there, JD. It's always nice to see you grow and learn. It's very nice. Uh, so uh, looking forward to it, dude. All right, cool. Let's yeah. move down here next to uh, uh, the one and only One Doom Rabbit coming us uh, to us live from Nottingham uh, in uh, the good old merry old England. And uh, sir, sure, we're, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. He has all the reference in the world. He's from the land of Hammer Horror. So, what are you planning on doing, Rabbit? Yeah, you say all that. I'm just going to do Christopher Lee. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm doing them. Um, I'm going to do Dracula from the first one, in 1958. Uh, so you do oh. Bela Lugosi. No, because no, Christopher Lee, he was the first right there. Yeah. You're thinking about the 30s. Yeah, no, You're but thinking it... about Universal. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, uh, Bela Lugosi did you a lot are... of Hammer films as well, dude. Nope, he was nope. dead. No, no know. way. Dead no man make no films. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna check that. I think I'm right. Like, except for one Ed Wood movie that he made while he was dead. I have the Dracula collection for the Hammer Horror, and yeah, it's uh, Christopher Lee almost in every single one of them. Except right. for like Seven Golden Vampires and The Countess Dracula, which is about the Countess. Oh, no, I know he's in that stuff, but I thought for sure Bella Lugosi had done some Hammer stuff. Uh, but that's all right. That's cool. Uh, Christopher Lee is definitely, uh, I imagine, to see at least two or three of him. Uh, so awesome. All right. And uh, you, of course, get bonus points because you're a legitimate Brit. So there you go. Uh, all right. Moving down here, we have uh, Alan from the Howl Comics, who's got his uh, hammer ready to be, uh, to be dropping down on those uh, stakes in the heart here. Uh, so, sir, what are you, uh, what are you thinking about doing? Um, I was looking to do Christopher Lee, but I thought a lot of people were going to do him. So I might, I think I might do that. Uh, the Wolfman, the Curse of the Wolf, or the Curse of the Werewolf. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oliver yeah, Reed. Yeah, because yeah. he reminds me of the uh, werewolf from Monster Squad who gets kicked in the Nards. <laughs> yeah, he does. dude. Monster <laughs> Squad is Monster Squad is underrated, dude. That is a great flick. Uh, but uh, yeah. the best Dracula ever. He was cool, dude. Uh, but actually, in that movie you're talking about, the Hammer movie, uh, uh, the, it's got one of the hottest chicks ever in that movie, dude. I can't remember her name, but she was gorgeous, dude. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, no, oh cool. God, all those Hammer movies. They didn't, all they didn't yeah, have a bad had roster. Chicks. Yeah, no, they did have a lot of movies beautiful everywhere. Women. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there, there was one, uh, I think she's a Latin lady, Italian maybe. Uh, and uh, she she was a very really beautiful lady. Um, anyway, cool. That's awesome. A werewolf. I, I'm glad we got one. Uh, and uh, moving down, of course, to our uh, uh, currently last. I, I imagine we're going to get another person or two jump in here. But uh, uh, we got uh, Zach over here doing some really, w w that's a cool looking bit thing. What are you doing there, dude? Oh, this was, uh, we did um, Barbarized on and you. Oh, uh, yeah. Lady Death as a barbarian. Oh, cool. neat. That's nice, dude. I love the abs. This lady's ready to kick ass, man. Uh, but uh, we're talking about Hammer Horror today, sir, or what are you thinking about doing? I was actually thinking about doing The Mummy, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh, That's that would classic. be really cool. It's classic. I, I would imagine that would be hard to pull off. Uh, so I, that'd be neat to see, dude. You think that's a... Is that a, supposed to be like a pun or something? <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, of course it was. Uh, I do apologize. I'm constantly, my brain works like that. You understand, Zach? Uh, but uh, I, legitimately, though, I, I, I really think that in my brain, I'm not an artist, of course, but uh, in my brain, that seems like that would be difficult to pull off. No. No? No? All right, well, cool. I'm um, looking forward to seeing it. All right, guys, well, uh, let's just jump right into it here, and uh, we'll wait and see if we get some other people jumping in. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it is time to start, so uh, we will give our countdown, and we will start with five, four, three, 
two, one. <laughs> Go, draw, draw, draw. Get those pencils moving. Get those erasers moving. The digital styluses, whatever it is they need. Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is going to go for two hours, and we only have one rule, just one, that they may not use color. But we have recently what? been adjusting that. Color. And yeah, uh, like yeah that's that's what I mean. We've been adjusting that. So I'm wondering, uh, should we allow color? You guys want color? No, We've been uh, doing color you constantly. can't have hammer without red. That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> poor, yeah, poor we're Jimmy. the first color of horror movies. It's All right. So blood. All right. We will allow color then. I think it's uh, we yeah. might as why. Why not? <laughs> poor Jimmy. It's all right, dude. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys. Uh, so it is two-hour run, and uh, we do keep in mind this is PG thirteen plus 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 show. Uh, this is not necessarily for kids at all. Uh, you have been warned. Although today we are doing Hammer Harbor, so I don't expect it to get too. Uh, you know, too crazy. Uh, but uh, we'll see. You never know. JD's here. Uh, and uh, he has no control over himself whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm autistic, though. That makes sense. Yeah, no, no, no. No excuses, JD. No excuses. Jake. <laughs> no excuses. Uh, you we, acoustic today? I guess. Uh, we got the Willie Mammoth in here. How you doing there? Uh, uh, it's nice to see you, dude. Uh, we got, ooh, a new name. Dead Punk Gage. Oh, that's cool. Why does everybody have cooler names than me? That's not right. It's not fair. Maybe because you're older. Oh, oh, geez, uh, geez, you just offended half of the panel. <laughs> I know, <laughs> dude. I know. Uh, we got Jeff Potts as well. Eric Boyd in here is uh, uh, giving some comments. We've got Joe Marone. Nice, nice, nice. And, of course, I mentioned Ray Thulu from the beginning. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is a new name. I don't think I've seen Dead Pug Gage before. Maybe I have. Uh, or maybe I they changed the name. Some, uh, I don't know. I think maybe on the other edition, maybe. He does uh, some maybe. cool draw-alongs. Yeah, so well, he does uh, one for this one. Oh, that, oh, there you go. I always appreciate that, and thank you for mentioning it. Do keep in mind, as usual on this show, guys, uh, we do a draw-along. Uh, of course, this is coming out of the Pro Edition, and uh, I think old Edwin started that concept. That was a really good idea. Uh, so uh, we'd love for you to draw along with us. We're doing Hammer Horror. Uh, that's a very broad canvas. There are so many characters that you can uh, uh, use or, 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 or attempt. Uh, and uh, keep in mind, you don't have to be some amazing badass artist. Uh, we just love for you to be part and contribute uh, and all you have to do is go over to the Twitters and uh, put in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, that is hashtag DNQFE. And uh, drop it in there. We'll take a look at the end of the show. Uh, it's uh, it's really cool what we see you guys do. And it's always a lot of fun. And I'll try to mention it a few times during the show to, to remind those who come and go uh, to do that. Also, we do appreciate if you guys would share it out. We are live streamers here. We don't really do uh, much uploading stuff. And that's what helps us the most. So uh, share it out to your friends, family, and extended community uh so they come over here and see what's going on i mean this is a live draw right it's something interesting to see and uh the amazing stuff that'll come out of it uh we also do appreciate the subs and likes of course uh the subs particularly we are trying to get to a thousand uh we're close what are we eight nine five right now uh so uh we'd love to see ourselves push over that for some reason that seems to be a big goal for everybody like are we gonna get to a thousand subs all right fine uh so i think that he says he does draw alongs on Tuesday some with uh, with Mike. Oh, that's cool, dude. Uh, cool. Th that's neat. Uh, glad for you to come over here and uh, uh, see what we're doing and be part of it. Of course, you know we we are a offshoot of Mike's show. Uh, and uh, with that mentioned, uh, we do keep in mind we have an actual prize here. Uh, whereas the winner at the end of the show will drop off straw poll. You guys will vote, and then the winner actually gets a guaranteed spot on Mike's pro show. Uh, and that's cool uh, uh, opportunity. And it's a uh, it's neat just to have that collab going on so uh thank you for coming over and checking us out dead punk um, that's and and our name winner is cool. came in third place on the pro show oh really yeah. the, uh, uh, really and that was the barbarianizing yeah. mm -hmm. oh i very missed good. him unfortunately. fly fox pro fly fox pro oh he actually came on damn it i missed him yeah. we were doing D D, weren't we so i missed it as well because i wanted to get draw along no, well, I wasn't here last week, so Booster ran the show. Uh, but uh, no, he he's not. He didn't want to come when you were on. So. Yeah, 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 they preferred Booster. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. All right. There you go. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I understand. I do. Yeah. Booster's very popular. All right. According to Jack, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, um, uh, Zach, uh, I'm just an asshole. Oh, wait. I haven't said that in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm I beat you to it. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you 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 laid me out pretty good yesterday. You're all, he's a bastard. What a bastard! Look at him. It was funny, <laughs> dude. Come on. <laughs> well, no, I I don't mind doing it like that. Was like 
whatever. <laughs> it was perfectly <laughs> timed. It was funny. Yeah, but <laughs> nah, that's funny. I don't like, mind being a young punching bag. I can take it. Yeah, my nerves sure. are. <laughs> I don't have nerves yet. I haven't grown them. <laughs> That's funny, uh, because usually I, I bust on Todd. He's the easy target, right? He doesn't <laughs> I mean, say anything. No, he yesterday doesn't. he was such an easy target. It was too easy of a target. He, was. he literally did nothing. Kind of just oh, lays there like a dead fish. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, pretty good. And actually, guys, it looks like they've uh, they've settled where they're going to put the pontificators. Looks like they're going to try to stick to Wednesdays the best they can, uh, which is cool. Uh, so uh, I on that, like I mentioned before, I didn't know what was going to happen with scheduling. So probably what I'll do is I will. I'll just drop the uh, Wednesday show and uh, instead just do the Pontificator show. So uh, you guys, I'll promote that uh, over the next uh, few uh, shows we do. Uh, so everybody just come on over to Arch Channel and give him support and watch the Pontificators. It's uh, it's pretty cool what, what, uh, what we do over there. Uh, we cover the uh, hot topics of the time. And, of course, it's neat because <clears throat> we have access to insiders who actually know what they're talking about. So that's kind of cool. You and know? you can see Todd sit there like a mute. He does. He's just a lump, yeah. Uh, but uh, he's always working, though, which is cool. I mean, uh, that's a good thing about Todd. He actually does get things done. You know, he's a professional artist, and he does his job, so that's cool. Uh, but, uh, you know, to give him a little credit. Uh, but it is a cool what show. You, I, uh, wh what do you think about it, Zach? I mean, uh, you're, of course, part of the... I've always enjoyed it. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah, I've always yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I think it's just all the... And I, I'm really happy that it's not just you, me, and... and because what was it? The first, it was you, me, and Art, and Todd. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And I like that it's grown so mm. much. And the more people that have gotten involved in it, the, the more interesting it's become. So. I agree. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know. Well, I mean, the cool thing about it, I mean, uh, Todd, of course, uh, when he does speak, he does bring information. Todd knows a lot about the uh, comic book industry. Uh, he knows uh, a great, he has great deal of information on artists and, and writers and all that kind of stuff. So he is very valuable uh, uh, mm -hmm. to have in there. Uh, but, uh, you know, of course, you got Art uh, as well, who is he's a li literally a living legend. I mean, he's done every damn character you can name. Uh, so, but he has access. He was an artist. Oh, Jesus. Uh, he's, but he's got contacts with everybody, right? So we get mm -hmm. these really cool guests that come on and have some really in-depth conversation with him and our talk about, you remember this, or what you think when this happened, or something like that. So it's really cool to bounce off of uh, this kind of knowledge. I mean, especially if you if you love comic books, if that's your thing, uh, then it's that's a great show to watch, right? And I'm just happy to be there and uh, be the comic relief, because that's really what I am. But uh uh, well, I'm, I thought I was. I was like the, the unknowledgeable booster kid that was just there so that everybody had someone to explain things to. <laughs> well, <laughs> in a way, in a way, you do cover that role. That's true. Uh, but uh, no, you're more the punching bag, I think. Yeah. 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 That's okay. You and I, you and I are the outskirts, uh, kind of covering that stuff. That's me and you, right? And the rest of those yeah. guys do their, you know, their pro thing. Uh, but it, I love being part of it. I think it's really cool. Uh, but... Uh, uh, I am going through the artists here, white boxing them, taking a look. Elrodimus is, damn, I stayed on Elrod for a long time because, damn, it's badass. It's badass, dude. But anyway. I had uh, to bring the boobs and phallic symbols. Well, dude, that, is, doing... that is gorgeous, oh, man. Wow. It is really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, of course, uh, Eric here is putting down some Peter Cushing. Loving it. Loving it. Uh, we got uh, Jason here has not really decided what he's going to do yet. He's kind of fiddling on something. I don't know what he's fiddling. I'm fiddling. Jason. I'm fiddling. It looks like a Moai or something. Are we on uh, Rapa Nui or something? Huh? <laughs> Rapa what? Rapa Nui. Easter Island, dude. It's a uh, failed Keep Kevin up. Costner movie. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it the follow-up to Waterworld? No. No. Yeah. It's, the island is called Rapa Nui. Yeah, and it's, it's also a failed Kevin Costner movie. Uh, it probably is, yeah. <laughs> is he made, that what, he made a movie called Rapanui. Is that the one that had like Jason Lee in it or something like that? 
Oh, it did. Yeah, That's right. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Lee was building statues on Easter Island. And it was all playing off that really stupid uh, 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 theory, that our, our archaeological theory of how the island, uh, how things happen is so stupid. This, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's funny. Jason uh, Scott Lee. Jason Scott Lee. I thought that was about a rat that knew how to cook. <laughs> no, that is ratatouille. Uh, yeah, that's, oh. a, that's a famous French dish. Uh, but uh, that's a good one, too. I actually like that. My family loves that. Jason show. Lee. I thought you meant um, the My Name is Earl guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, wow, that's a weird movie. <laughs> yeah, Jason Scott Lee. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, From Dragon, did, uh, Bruce Lee story. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Joe Maroney says the 1931 original Bela Lugosi time with Hammer was marked by a more down to earth performance as a, uh, a murderous sailor in the 1934 thriller Phantom Ship. Thank you very much, Joe. I told you I was right. Damn. <laughs> what? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dead Punk Gage says uh, I've sat in on, on a few of the Ultimate Editions before. Uh, this is like the first well, time sorry. I'm drawing along, and you guys, because I love Hammer Horror. Well, thank you for coming in, dude. We're, we appreciate it. And uh, we love Hammer Horror, too, man. Uh, that was a lot of fun growing up with that stuff, man. Uh, so uh, this is really cool what Jason's doing. I'm not sure what it is, but the jaw is badass. It is badass. So moving down here, I'm terrified, but I am doing it, and I am now white boxing JD. <laughs> Actually, JD, that's not bad. You know, when you've started tracing things, things have gotten better. It's good. Actually, I did trace the pose, but I did actually take, I did take some liberties. You know. I know. I you know. Can trace? No, you well, can't. No, you cannot. No. Jeez, oh, come on. I took the pose mostly. That was all I did mostly. <laughs> there better at least be one person drawing lesbian vampires, Ray Thula says. Well, you know, there is a famous horror, uh, famous horror film that's called The Fearless Vampire Hunters uh, that is filled with uh, uh, gay and lesbian vampires. It is true. Yeah, that's true. I think he was talking about like the, the vampire twin movie. He's oh, talking about the one with the Ingrid Pitt, the vampire lovers. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, that was a more serious fair. That that didn't uh, they didn't have all the nice camp that Hammer usually has though. Uh, but uh, really? uh, real lesbo action. Yeah, it was no, that was very serious take. Yeah, I mean, I kind of prefer the Hammer fills where they're just being you know campy and Silly. cheesy. It's much yeah. more fun. Uh, but Fearless Vampire Killers is super camp. Uh, but it's a great freaking movie. It's one of those you know hidden gems that people don't know about. Uh, JD, you need to put that hair back because it was in the, okay. All right, fine. Okay, there you go. Doesn't uh, doesn't Fearless Vampire Hunter star famed child rapist Roman Polanski? It probably does. Why not? Ooh. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Who? Roman Polanski. Okay, great. Uh, Ray Zulu says, Lust of, for a Vampire and Vampire Lovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, since we're talking about vampire movies, uh, 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 which they've done all kind of movies, we'll talk about other stuff too, but, uh, you know, uh, curiously, what do you guys think is uh, your favorite vampire movie? I, I know that um, uh, for me, uh, there is an obscure vampire movie that I absolutely love. I don't know if it's my favorite, though, but I, but I love it. It's called Dance of the Damned. It's a great vampire mm. flick. Uh, but uh, what do you guys think? It, no, it's not yeah. at all. It's it's a great, great vampire movie. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what's your favorite vampire movie here, Zach? Uh, it's going to... Okay, so uh, uh, Queen of the Damned. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I like it because it's like this weird like, what if uh, it's it's like a better version for me of a modern sort of vampire thing going on. You know, it's and it's just stupid enough where I enjoy it without thinking too hard. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. The it's, there's something, there's something very okay. yeah. It's it's the same reason why I like like the neutron the 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 neutron. You know where it's just should like, be neutron. No, well, that's you know whatever. But <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> uh, the new Tron. What is it called? Tron Legacy. Yeah, oh. yeah, Tron Legacy. Yeah, like, yeah. like you know, it's 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 got like a I don't know something about it where it's just it's just the bad CGI. Like, yeah, Jeff, uh, bad CGI. But it, like like it's it's a it's a turn off show. Like you just you know you can just shut your brain off and enjoy it. You know when you're when. When shit gets too hard and life is too crazy, you, you just pop that shit in and, and then you just <laughs> calm your, your ass down for like 10 minutes, you know? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I, I understand the guilty pleasure of Queen of the Damned. I do. I do. Uh, it's it, You can tear that movie apart if you really want to, but it's just a guilty pleasure, yeah. man. I get it. 
It is. Uh, yeah. And actually, that girl, I can't remember her name, but uh, the, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Yeah. Uh, actually, the office uh, I was running at the time <clears throat> when she died, uh, which I think was certainly after this film, uh, <clears throat> plane accident, yeah. uh, plane, plane yeah, crash. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, one of the uh, people working in the office uh, was actually like her brother or cousin wow. or something. Yeah. Oh, gosh. oh man. God damn. Yeah, so it was more, well, it was more, uh, uh, it was more visceral for me because you know I was the boss and uh, I had someone who was actually dealing with the the shock of it. Otherwise, I might not even noticed, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you talking about the lady, the actual like queen of the dam? Yeah, like, yeah, her? she died in a plane yeah, crash. Yeah, yeah, the one that snakes yeah. around the movie the whole time. Actress singer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's a pretty oh, girl, dude. Know. Pretty girl. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. she was like really horrible like that her acting was terrible oh no it was it was yeah <laughs> it wasn't about her acting it was about her slinking everywhere oh dude she, she slank well dude she slank no uh-huh. yeah that wasn't, that wasn't the problem the problem was she was all hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was the yeah. problem i was like yeah yeah like, oh. yeah, yeah. You're gonna yeah i i also oh, oh, dude don't even that is the sexiest scene ever put to film man oh my god Oh no, that was my, no, favorite that is my favorite. That dust, the, yeah, dust that, that's my favorite. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's gonna be mine. Damn it. Well, I'll keep moving down. Uh, the chat is giving us some. Let me keep them up before I jump over here. I know I've been on uh, uh, Rabbit for a while, because, but I just couldn't take my eyes off it. It's freaking amazing. I was moving down here. Have you guys seen the, the, the actual series, the Netflix series they made from Dust Till Dawn? Oh yeah. yeah, it was it was eh, barely watchable really. Uh, but uh, Dead Punk Gage, uh, uh, Dead Punk Gage has yeah, cool name. Uh, favorite vampire film is either Fright Night uh, 1985 or Blackula 1973. Sweet dude. Uh, <laughs> I like the Eddie Murphy one. That was pretty good. Uh, favorite oh, Hammer vampire good. film is Dracula AD 1972. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Ray, yeah. Ray Thulo says, uh, "Oh, this is a great one. The Jack Palance version of Dracula was probably the best outright." Dracula adaptation. That ah, very nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we go. The Eddie Murphy one for P.S. Melter, Vampire in Brooklyn, bro. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the uh, uh, Ray Thulis says the Klaus Kinski version of Nosferatu was pretty freaking impressive. Yeah, it was, dude. It was. Uh, but uh, Alan, it's your turn, dude. What's your favorite vampire movie? Uh, honorable mention to uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula with Keanu. Yeah, I yeah. Really like that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Anthony Hopkins is that was like one of his coolest performances. Uh, cool. But uh, yeah, Dust Till Dawn, man, with Cheech Marin and Selma Hayek and that whole twist. I, I, I saw that movie not knowing it was going to be a vampire movie. Like, I just saw I thought that was going to be like about criminals or whatever. You yeah, know? yeah. Well, it had a good it twist. Turns into this, yeah, it just twist up on me. I'm like, whoa, okay. That was yeah. weird. Quinn Tarantino, yeah. psychopath. That was weird. Yeah, though, as strange. if it, it, it just felt right, oh, though. Fantastic. It felt right. Uh, but uh, um, uh, but no, that's a great movie, but uh, a fun movie. With, of course, it's got George Clooney, which is hard for me to say I like a George Clooney movie. But uh, that scene what? with Sama Hayek, uh, Hayek it just, oh my God, dude. She's so freaking smoking hot in that movie, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean, that, like that was like top, t- she's been in the top 10 ever since because of that scene, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, she's a beautiful woman, but she just, she, and the thing they t- said, I watched the making of, and I'm sure you guys have, have as well. And they said that the whole room that they, you know, they had all the, all the actors in the room. Uh, they didn't tell them what was about to happen. So, uh, Salma came out to a, a, a cold room and, and all the reactions you see are real. And I get it because they would have been real for me too. <laughs> uh, but, uh, that was really cool, isn't yeah. That where, isn't that where the rumors of, of the foot fetish for his Quentin Tarantino start? He's like, yep, that's that's the fetish. Well, I don't blame him. I mean, you know. <laughs> just drink anything off her feet. Yeah, damn it, dude. <laughs> Eric's just like, oh, man. Yeah. Dude, that was a really oh, yeah. hot scene. And there's a lot of scenes in movies where women try to be sexy and try to be hot. And good on her for doing it. But she just stole it. She just bitch slapped the entire actress community, dude. Well, it was for Selma Hayek. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's just coming naturally. So like Jennifer Conley. Oh, shut up, dude. Isn't that your, your niece? <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. 
People are going <laughs> to get me in trouble, man. Uh, all right. Uh, let me see. Uh, Joe Maroney says, Transvenue 65,000. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> also, um, I was going to also say, uh, Love at First Bite with uh, Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I yeah, mentioned yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm getting down the line here. Let, uh, let's go over to Rabbit here. Rabbit, what's your, uh, uh, are you with us still? Because you're showing your icon. Yeah, I had, to, I had to. Oh, am I? Sorry, I had to restart Clip Studio because my tablet went all weird. Hang on, listen to me. Oh, no problem. We're, we're, we're asking about the favorite vampire movie, sir. I don't know. I like um, pretty much every one you've said so far, but no one's mentioned Mr. Vampire, which is fantastic. Oh, I don't know that one. When's, when's that one? Yeah, it's, it's a Chinese movie. It's martial arts. It's so funny. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't believe you've never seen it. That's no. classic. Well, there are a couple of... Uh, the, you know, the whole, like, bouncing vampire. I mean, obviously, I'd go, like, if I was going to go for... I mean, Vampire to D is amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, uh, it is. Yeah, no, the Japanese... Non-live anime. action... Yeah, but I mean, I love all the Hammer Horrors. <laughs> well, they made a live Sword action of. They made a live action of a uh, uh, Vampire Hunter D, didn't they? Or no, that was Blood. No, that was I'm aware of. <laughs> that was Blood, the Last Vampire. Sorry, yeah, they made. Oh a yeah, yeah they did that. that. Blood, the Last yeah. Vampire, but the anime is far better. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 it is. But I didn't mind it for a Japanese live action. It, it wasn't the worst. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah, but you know the the thing about that is with the Chinese. Uh, you, you talk about the Chinese hopping ghost. Uh, they actually yeah. have vampiric <laughs> nature to them. They are vampires, but they actually for them. Oh yeah, but they're the movie a ghost. was called Mr. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe you've not seen that. Should have a look into it. It's, it's really good. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely. It's an, it's an old it movie, but it's definitely a good film. Yeah. All right, over here, uh, Dead Punk says, Jonathan Frid from Dark Shadows, yes. Uh, now, here's yeah. the thing. Uh, Dark Shadows was uh, uh, was a very fun show. I grew up in that, oh, many of us grew up in that time when that came out. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Johnny Depp did a remake of it. It's probably, uh, I'm assuming he did it with Burton. I mean, every, they seem everything they do is together. Uh, but uh, what did you guys think of Johnny Depp and Dark Shadows? Didn't like it. You didn't God like awful. it? Did not like Ooh. it at all. What was Dark Shadows? Was it was a God TV awful. show. It was kind of it was uh, cool. They, yeah. they had a movie reboot thingy going on. They did. That was the actual synopsis for the movie. It was god awful. It's yeah. It's bad. Uh, it's see, bad. I didn't hate it though. I didn't hate it. I yeah. didn't. Uh, <clears throat> I get why people don't like it though. Uh, Joe says, uh, anyone remember Love at First Bite? Yeah, we mentioned that. George Hamilton, of course, who's in uh, St. James, and Richard Benjamin. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, get out of my head. It's, it was literally just typing that, <laughs> Ray Thula says. Uh, <laughs> synchronicity. Interview with a vampire. You got to have Tom Cruise. <laughs> hey, interview with a vampire is not bad, yeah. Uh, uh, let me just catch you. It's not at all. It's a pretty good flick. Yeah. Although <clears throat> Anne Rice wasn't really happy with it because um, that those books are, uh, are are basically homosexual tales. That's what she's trying to do with it, uh, which is fine. It's all the movie. Uh, uh, yeah, in a way, yeah. in a way, but it didn't really in in, in, in uh, you know embrace it as much as she wanted. So she was kind of unhappy with it. They're doing a remake, as far as I understand. That's going to be much more homoed up. So you know, all right. Yes, yeah, so that's what <laughs> we need. <laughs> They both had George Hamilton. He says, yeah. He did uh, with Burton, and it was trash. Yeah, no one likes it. All right, I'll shut up. 30 Days of Night. Dude, Ray Thulu, good choice. Oh, that's uh, good. Yeah. Uh, Great movie. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Willie Mammoth said, Eddie Murphy played a vampire once. Yes, he did. It's called The Vampire of Brooklyn. It was already mentioned, and it is a fun movie. Uh, but most any movie, <clears throat> Eddie Murphy movies are. Uh, JD, I'm terrified to ask, but uh, what's your favorite vampire movie? Please, please. Great Point work. Work. Please. The first uh, Hotel tra- Transylvania. Oh, okay, yeah, the kid safe. one, yeah. He went safe. He went cool. super safe. He did. Uh, my kids actually love that uh, flick. Uh, uh, so oh, yeah, that's, it's a great series. Yeah. Even the third one, which I thought was going to be kind of wokey, ended up being pretty good. Was that the one where you got a girlfriend? Yeah, that yeah. was pretty good. Never oh, yeah, I love it. Oh, oh, we, oh, someone finally woke up. <clears throat> yes, uh, <laughs> we're we're picking our favorite vampire <laughs> movies here, Mr. Booster. Oh, how are we doing? Sorry, I hey, took boys. my time. I just rolled myself out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Dumb's the name. I says. Res- all... oh, go ahead. I was up all night loading sausage. Oh. 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 Uh, Dumb's yeah. the name. Says really oh, recently man. bought a Hammer Horror uh, collection on DVD. That sounds like a good idea, dude. Uh, Joe says Anne Rice is unhappy with the vampire movies. Wonder how she was uh, uh, with uh, Exit to Eden, Total Departure from the book. Uh, she doesn't seem to be a very happy person anyway. 
So, you know, uh, yeah, did punk well, gauge says, uh, yeah, right. Court Yo or Yorga from 1976 and the grave of the vampire were both very underrated for its time. I agree. I do. Uh, Jim Carrey was in a vampire movie, uh, uh, called once bitten. Was he in that flick? Oh, yeah. Was he? Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah. No court. Yorga was awesome. You're right. Right. Uh, let's move down here. Uh, uh, nice choice there. JD, uh, uh, Jason, sir, what is your favorite you? vampire movie? Um, I will say, although I did, I did love 30 days and night. I thought that was fantastic. Um, I'll say shadow of the vampire. Okay. All right, Shadow of the Vampire. Yep. Who's in that one? That's uh, Willem Dafoe. It's, Willem. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah, the yeah. one that's about Nosferatu, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's that's like the. the um, yeah, no, that was a good flick, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, they're. Not, they're yeah, not the film was actually starred with a vampire. So. Yeah, well, that was the that was the theory, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's that cool, dude. The, uh, uh, now we're doing Harmer uh, Hera. Uh, Har hammer horror <laughs> sorry about that uh hammer what horror. hammer horror uh what I character is this jason you're putting horror. up here dr F dr five. Oh, oh i see we get the chat oh i see when the shadows come in uh freaking vincent AI price piece. dude the man that's what i was thinking of the other freaking night yeah vincent price oh vincent yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, vincent. yeah. rich finder general vincent price yeah is it that vincent dude was badass price. man uh, all right, cool. So uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, moving down here, Eric, sir, what is your favorite vampire movie? Well, there's so many of them. Everybody's listed so many of them I really like. 30 Days a Night is probably one of my favorites. I haven't heard one of the best ever named yet, though. Oh, no. What, Blade? Underworld? What? Blade. Those are Blade. fine, too, but that's not what I'm thinking about. But those are fine. Yeah. Blade 2 would be awesome. Mm, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a certain Mr. Lance Hendrickson in the movie. Oh, Near Dark is yes, great. Yes, baby. Oh, oh man. Actually, Near I forget about dark. all these movies. You bring them up, I'm going to have to download them all. Well, it's Near like dark you forget the vampire, vampire movies. Vampire movies. Like so well. But, dude, Near Dark is one of the best vampire movies ever made. That movie is badass. And it's oh, low budget. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's kind of what vampires would really be like. I think so. They're just traveling yeah. around in a Winnebago, like feeding on tiny <laughs> towns that no one, no one will realize what you're missing. Like the Scooby, yeah. Dick, Scooby Gang. Yeah, the, Stoo no, it's the like Scooby Dick. I love how that uh, Freudian slip almost came out. That's pretty good. Oh, here's one I've never heard of. Mother, May I Sleep with Danger with uh, James Franco and Tori Spelling. That was probably a good one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you are disqualified, sir. Out. Out. Elronimus, sir. Save us from that. So, what's your favorite vampire movie, dude? Elronimus? Are you all right? Oh, me? Yeah. I didn't hear you say my name. Sorry. Uh, probably The Satanic Rites of Dracula. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I uh, saw that one. He doesn't even talk in that movie, and Christopher Lee owns it. That's great. It huh. is great. Yeah, yeah. But, because apparently they gave him really corny lines, and he's like, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's like twice, and it's basically a uh, nightmare on Earth. Oh, he's so cool. Yeah, he is cool. I, from what I understand in his uh, biography, he was literally part of MI6 awesome. or yes, MI5 or some, one of those, yeah. Which is interesting. Don't mess, don't mess with Oh, is it up to me to give the correct you. answer then? Is that what I gotta do? <laughs> uh yeah, sure. You're next. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh what we do in the shadows. Oh, that is a fun movie. Yes. It is a fun yeah. movie. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And just so because it's made in your made country? in your country has nothing to do with it, I'm sure. Well, no, it's also ridic it's ridiculously great and is uh, really accurate to vampires as well. I love it. It, it is a good movie, yeah, dude. It is really good movie. Yeah. Yeah. What Booster meant to say was Twilight. Oh! Rob Pattinson is a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, is a treasure. Uh, the chat like, is really uh, uh, giving us a I great like answer over here. Oh, God. Sunlight. Such With a boring female. 
but uh, let's see. Uh, we got some really good ones over here in the uh, in the chat. Uh, the, for the second or third time, I've seen the Grave of, Vam- of the Vampire mentioned. It is a, a, a nice '70s uh, movie, uh, and he says it has a grindhouse, grindhouse feel. Yeah, uh, Taste of Blood of Dracula is uh, uh, probably his favorite from the Hammer stuff. Uh, says Ray Thulo. Nice. Uh, Willie says uh, the Bram Stroker's Dracula. It's actually not a bad movie. Um, it's one of the few movies that they actually got an, some kind of manner of an acting performance out of old Keanu. Uh, usually better just to keep his mouth shut, you know. Uh, I was. This is one I was waiting for too. Life Force. Yeah, baby. That, that's another oh, great yeah. British film. Oh no, was that that? It probably wasn't with Hammer. Uh, which studio was that with? I wonder. It's a British movie. Uh, Canon. <laughs> no, well, it wasn't Canon, was it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Fine. I think it was like one of the big reasons they went under because they spent so much money on that movie. That movie is spectacular, though, dude. Life Force is a yeah. good flick. And it's got a beautiful woman naked throughout the entire movie. It's as it should be. Is it, uh, Matilda May or something like that? Well, I she's wasn't good. listening until I heard Naked Woman. What was this movie? Life naked Force, ladies. dude. Uh, an, she's an alien movie. vampire queen and she's naked the entire movie. I mean, butt naked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And they ain't afraid either. They ain't afraid, baby. Uh, that's got uh, now that has a, a pretty interesting uh, uh, performances in it as well. Uh, there's an actor in that is just is, is missing my mind. It's it's not it's not Vincent Price. Oh, it's Patrick Stewart is in that play. Yeah, rent kissing Patrick Stewart. And he plays a he he gets possessed by the vampire and he he does a woman pretty well. I I I'm not well, shocked by that, but you know. Well, he's British. It's true. He's British. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if there's anything we've learned from Britain, it's that Monty Python. Hey, Monty <laughs> Python, dude. Oh, Benny Hill. They can do yeah. anything. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. There's some really cool art. Rabbit is absolutely slaying it, by the way. Um, Eric Boyd says, uh, yes, near dark. Uh, I also agree with uh, Jason's uh, choice of Shadow of the Vampire. Yeah, there's some great vampire movies, guys. And there's a bunch that weren't mentioned. Uh, what do the sh- uh, uh, what we do in the shadows is brilliant. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's scare Jessica to death. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, dude. You all right? <laughs> Booster, stop punching the uh, the art. Stop it. You're, you're, stop hurting the artist. <laughs> Let's scare Jessica to death. Now, that movie sounds real familiar. Have I seen that movie? It sounds familiar, man. Uh, maybe I have. Uh, Gary Oldman was beautiful as Dracula. Yes, he was. He stole the movie from uh, and the role. He you, often does. Gary Oldman is pretty badass, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The Rocketeer stole that movie. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um. Why did Nessa Rabadi saying "Good evening" get held up for review? For no, that, YouTube, that, that's man. a that's a uh, dog whistle, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, Microaggression. Hey, Nasser, what's up, dude? How do you do, my fellow white supremacists? I uh, guess. Uh, Nasser has not seen any Hammer films yet. What? I keep what? nagging Uh-oh. him to be the Watson to watch Hammer films. He refuses to. It's because he's an idiot. <laughs> it, poor Nasser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, but uh, let me catch up with the chat, though, because there's some really good mentions in here, guys. Uh, now, this is interesting from Ray Thulu. He says, uh, the Hammer remake, uh, uh, Let Me In with uh, uh, Chloe Mortiz, uh, was damn good, too. You know, <clears throat> the, original was better. the original was way better, though. Uh, I get it, though. You know, he's he, Jason's right. The original was so much better, dude. Uh, but But it wasn't bad, though. The remake wasn't bad, though. It wasn't. It's kind of like the remake of The Ring, the American version. It's not a bad flick. Oh, that was the, terrible. No, nah, it was all right. It was watchable movie, dude. It was entertaining. But the original <laughs> Ring, know. the original Damn Ring it. is literally thousands of levels above it. Yeah, I mean, it is, and the book's even better. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the best horror movies ever made. Uh, but uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let the right one in. Wait. Yeah, let the wait, right wait, one in. I ring, know what he was saying, Tolfer. I know what he's saying. The Ring had a book. Yeah, the Ring's based on a book. Yeah, yeah. Which one, a manga or an actual book? No, Ringu, the original. Ringu. It's called Fellowship of the Ring. Yes, yes. It, is. <laughs> it was voted the number one book of the 20th century. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Willie Mammoth. Fantastic. Willie Mammoth yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah. resist, and he had to mention Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. That, was you know that is a great book. The movie's silly, but the book is wonderful. Is it? I haven't read it. it, it the movie it's like, was it's fun the easiest watch. read in the world because it just reads like a diary of like facts. <laughs> Dear Martha. Yeah, like it, it. It's it's 
written is like everything just happened like oh. matter of factly there's no like real fantasy kind of stuff in it oh, that's interesting um uh, it i watched it. actual events and places so it's kind of neat well that's clever i i watched the movie though and i can't stand i can't stand behind it oh, come um, on. they had like a kung fu fight on top of a cow herd i, I know <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all, the, all those horses were running or something they're hopping along them as soon as i saw that scene yeah, yeah, like, like, horse, like the stampede i done is great my brain just switched off right there. I was like, yeah. this is oh, yeah. the Boom. most retarded thing. I thought you were tell you what, that actor was great. Like, and of course, yeah. that movie probably ruined his career. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but the, the chat is making confirmation the Life Force was canon. Thank you very much. It's a great movie, though. Uh, and it's definitely a British flick, so there must have been a collaboration, I suppose. But then again, canon... No, way, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, um, uh, directed, it was canon, directed by Toby Hooper. That was uh, Mathilda May. She was gorgeous, dude. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, Steve uh, Railsback uh, is also in it, and uh, he played Charles uh, Manson in Hell Skelter. Yep. There you go. Uh, mm -hmm. Lone Star Viper says Innocent Blood. Yeah, there you go. I oh, see yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad flick. Uh, I've seen one called Bofa. I don't know that one, Nasser. Uh, but um, uh, do keep in mind, guys, with mentioning all these great uh, horror movies and, and uh, uh, vampire movies, and, of course, many of them are hammer horror, uh, do keep in mind we are doing a draw-along, and we hope you guys are drawing along. Don't be intimidated. You don't have to have tons of uh, amazing talent. We just want you to be part of it and share. So uh, uh, draw your favorite horror, hammer horror character or scene and uh, go over to Twitter and put it in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And uh, we will check it out at the end of the show. We have Booster here, so now we can do that. We had no capability before that, but now we do. So. Mm -hmm. It was literally impossible until I arrived. You're all welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, every I'm... single one of Nuss's messages has to be held up for review, right? I want to know, what has this little shit been up to? Yeah, dude, Cause... you've you've pissed off YouTube or something, <laughs> wow. dude. They're holding up everything you what, put out. What have you done, Nasser? Nostra's what angry. have you been up to? <laughs> what has he not done? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that might be a better question. Now, what uh, he hasn't done. Now, this is really cool what you're doing, Zach, with the mummy and stuff. That is beautiful, dude. Uh, I am moving down to Alan, though, and his wolf men, uh, trying to keep the white boxing moving along. Uh, but there is actually a very good question. Uh, well, it's not a question from them. It's a question in my head. Uh, don't, uh, Dead Punk says, the original Salem's Lot, it never uh, gets any love. True. I love the original Salem's Lot. There was a part two from the uh, that was part of that original team uh, or original original story, and then there was a remake uh, with um, yeah. uh, oh, he's a great actor, Rocker Howard. Rocker Howard thank you. Uh, that they did later that was more accurate to the book, uh, yeah. and uh, therefore very different. Uh, therefore, the question I have is, what's better, the original Salem's Lot or the Rocker Howard remake? The, the original's way creepier. It yeah, creepy, the original yeah. is much scarier. Even yeah. now. Like I'm, it scares me. Um, Dude, that Nosferatu vampire in it is like so awesome. freaky. That, that yeah, stole the entire miniseries. Yeah. Well, dude, and that was a, a released on TV. I remember watching yeah, that yeah. as a kid, dude. That was yeah, a miniseries. Yeah. I'm for life. Room, yeah. <laughs> Buffy. The pop singer David Soul. Yep. Yeah, yeah it was it was really cool. But the Rucker Howard remake was pretty cool though. Uh, I did it like was. it. Yeah. I liked it too. Uh, but uh, these, uh, there's just so many great uh, vampire movies getting listed off here, man. Vampires Kiss, yeah. Nick Cage in his absolutely craziest performance. I agree, dude. <laughs> I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. Right, right. But that's more of a psychological <laughs> thing. But it was funny, though. It was funny. Uh, <laughs> Dumbs the Name says Angel of the Night is a really good European vamp film. Oh, there you go. Uh, this actually. No oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, there was also like um, uh, they're not called they don't have vampire in the title but there was like a German uh, movie there was two of them uh, that uh, are dealing with vampires and it was actually really good uh, what were they called Mein Kampf one and two no no no, no. Uh, I can't I can't remember what it was called they're really good though good flicks uh, Bofa des nuts I don't know what Nasser's up to uh, Claudio's here everyone bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, <sir. 
Okay. That's a different kind of movie altogether. It uh, is, I guess, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Claudia says, I just watched, and I'm drawing Plague of the Zombies. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, oh, the is that the hammer, Plague of the Zombies? I would imagine, yeah. They got the creepiest zombies ever in that movie. I don't know. 30 Days of Night has got pretty creepy uh, zombies in it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, that Hammer zombie movie, they are just like nightmare fuel. What What is that vampire movie? It's called like 30 Days or... 30 Days a Night. No, no, not that one. Uh, they're up in the Arctic. Uh, 30, they're... 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 Days, days of Night. Yeah. That is 30, 30 Days a night. night. Then what is the other one I'm thinking about that's more like a zombie movie? 30 days, uh, 30 days later. 30 days later. Okay, thank you very much. 28 days later. 28 days later. Thank you. Thank no, you. very thank specific. You. Yeah, okay. Now I got my head straight now. Uh, because, the yeah, that 30 days of night is badass. That's a that's a really good film, vampire film. Yeah. That's that, a good idea. Was that just a comic book? It is. It was, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which one? 30 days of night. Yeah, it is. I already knew that. It's a shame there's no good vampire movies nowadays we don't get anything anymore well uh they and rice killed the vampire movie yeah i guess uh but um uh the the problem we're Twilight having ruined them well the problem we're having today <laughs> well, is yeah, that <laughs> uh we have way too much affirmative action that's uh getting people jobs that don't haven't earned it that's a problem uh you don't know about it oh i just did we jd are. yeah mm-hmm. yeah I saw a uh, Dracula on Netflix that was good for three episodes, and then it just went right down the toilet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. one. Yeah, dude, it started off so good, too. Yeah. And then it got stupid. So yeah. Just... It it. Like, I am Van Helsing. I am Van Helsing. Yeah. It, it <laughs> was, Shut up, buddy. It was dumb. It was too, because it started <laughs> out, and, and I knew they were gender swapping it in it, but uh, initially, and I was like, oh, but I didn't mind. It was like, all right, this is working. Uh, and then they came to the modern age, and it went, and then and it got dumber and dumber. It ended. The last episode was like a bad morning soap opera. I could oh, not was believe that the, it. Uh, the, the BBC one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it started yeah, yeah. Was, really I well. That and he was like, "Yeah, the first episode was like, oh, this is promising. Oh dear. <laughs> it's kind of how that went. Yeah, it was just yeah. bad. It was really bad in the end. It had yeah. the essence of Hamahara almost to start with. Oh, it was beautiful. I think it. that was the intention of it, right? Because it was like Mark Gatiss, who's a huge uh, Hammer fan. Mm. And he wanted right? to make like basically a, a new Hammer type movie, but you know, Failed the BBC miserably. stepped in and said like, "No, we're going to make it crazy." Yeah. I think the only one that's been any good has been the uh, that they've done li- li- later on was been the one with Harry Potter in. Harry Potter. Uh, oh, I didn't even know. I about can't this remember one. what the movie was called. It was uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's actually really good. It's one of the first things he did after he didn't do Harry oh, Potter. Oh, it's like uh, something house. Yeah, it's it's stuck in a house and it's about these spirits. It, it's, it's the woman like in black. The woman in like black. That. That might be, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that was all right. It was all right. They made a second one, I think. Uh, but um, I didn't watch that, but I'm just just as a like a av- everything at the time, it was probably yeah. the best thing, yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Horror nowadays is shit. Well, <laughs> out of <laughs> out of all the flicks that have come out of that trio, uh, that's the best one for sure because Emma's just put out a lot of crap. Um, and mm. uh, the Ron character, he's done like one. Something like that, uh, but uh, no, Radcliffe. Had, uh, what's the Ron the Bear? Guns of uh, Akim- Akimbo or something like that. I think it comes with a few movies. That was, that, was, that was bad. It was. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's just trying to like get rid of his typecast, isn't he? I guess. I think he was. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but, I mean, I don't know. He, he was still like just an absolute pansy. So it was like, eh. Yeah, yeah, but that BBC I don't one. I want to shoot my guns. <laughs> that BBC one was very disappointing because it did start out so brilliantly, and if they just kept that tone, man, it would have been yeah. it would have been really good, and it would have been something where they did gender swap it, but it worked, right? Right. It yeah. can work. Yeah, sometimes it can actually, work. Yeah. yeah, it can. Yeah. The episode so, on the right. ship. Oh man, I was I was loving it. And then yeah, it was that good. was really yeah. good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. The future you part are... was just like, what have they done? <laughs> Yeah, uh, let me uh, let me catch up with the chat. Uh, they're getting a little bit ahead of us here. Uh, Ray Thulu says uh, the remake of Friday Night uh, uh, Fri- Fright Night uh, from a year a few years ago was surprisingly good. I expected hate hate it, but I loved it. Uh, that is a bit of a guilty pleasure film. I agree. 
Uh, it had, you Tenet can... was good in it. Oh, yeah, Tenet's always Did good you... though. Yeah, David Tenet made it. Did you guys ever watch Daybreakers with Ethan Hawke? Oh, yeah, yeah it's not that, bad yeah. either, dude. Yeah, I thought that was pretty uh fascinating take on it. I thought it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what was, was the one with uh, James Woods? Oh, uh, no, Vampire, uh, Vampire no. Two Thousand or something, wasn't it? No, no, that was a <laughs> Dracula Two Thousand. Yeah, Vampire yeah. Three Thousand. Oh, Vampire, I think it was called. Yeah. Been, I don't know. John Carpenter. Oh yeah, oh, yeah no was, vampires. Yeah, John Carpenter's cool. vampires. That's right. That wasn't bad either, dude. The vampire is great. The guy from Karate Kid Three. Oh yeah, I, it's, I didn't know he was from that. Yeah, that's a that's a good it's flick though. Film. Yeah, that he there's so many, so many good ones, dude. Hotel Transylvania, Shadow of the Vampires have been mentioned many times. Uh, Buffy, get out of here, Willie. Leave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Rucker Howe was the main vampire villain in Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. Well, yep. the movie was certainly better than the series. That's yeah, true. the movie was great. Yeah, I love yeah, the movie. Yeah. Uh, the original Mr. Barlow was freaking insane. Dude, now that's a movie that I didn't even come to my mind. That is a great movie. You guys seen Mr. Barlow? No. No, that's, that's a great movie. flick, dude. Uh, yeah. Isn't that based on Self uh, Salem's Not Lot? I don't know. Uh, I'm not well, sure. That, that's the name of the, of the vampire from Salem's Lot, Mr. Barlow. It is. You're yeah, right. that sounds yeah. familiar because they did the uh, they did all that. They went there in uh, Castle Rock season two. They didn't have vampires, but he went to the, all that whole estate and everything. Huh. Well, maybe I don't I'm, know. No, if you no, Castle Rock, but... no, I'm making a mistake. I'm making a mistake. I was. I'm thinking of another movie uh, that is uh, more of a psychological thing. He, I think what he's referencing is he liked the original Mr. Barlow better than Rucker Howard's one. Maybe he's saying I. Oh, I man, think I'm wrong. Right. Actually, um, uh, I still okay, binge watch Buffy and Angel twice a year. Well, Rachel, that that is your uh, that is your problem. Yeah. Uh, who would who would want to fight with Angel of the Morning uh, or Angel of the Night? Ah, well, okay. Uh, Twilight was better than Lost Boys. Fight me, dude. Oh, hey. no. dude. Oh, hey. You, hey, you lose this fight. Hey. Hey. Uh, that's that's Willie Mammoth from Canada. He's a Canadian. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's Canadian. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Thank you, Dead Dead Punk's badass, dude. Come in here more often, please. It's an it's not German. It was a Russian uh, film called Night Watch and Day Watch. Those movies are badass, oh, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that was a spinoff from an alien one or something, or the alien one could be a spinoff. I don't know, but they were really well done. I didn't know they were Russian. Yeah, like, they were based sure they on were books. Yeah, yeah they're right. Russian books. My brother's got the books. They're really mm-hmm. good. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Really, they're surprising. I have one that's kind of controversial. It's a, it was a TV series though. So, but you guys already know I don't like Nickelback, so this won't be a surprise. Uh-huh. Uh, Nickelback. Uh, <laughs> True Blood. I really did you say you like Nickelback? Ah, True Blood. I do. I do. I enjoyed no. the True Blood too. Quite a bit. Uh, so did I. They just ended it horribly, as many things. Oh, they ended horribly. It was, it was too for, much. Crap. There was some good stuff in there. I'd forgotten about True Blood as well. Yeah, I enjoyed that, but I skipped the last series. It got really boring. It did. Yeah, it did. It, it, Same thing with Game really of Thrones. Bad. It did. I'm glad and, I didn't see the end. And uh, the the lead girl there. For me, I lost interest as soon as that. As soon as she started dating Eric. Uh, after that, that was, was like, a yeah, sucky, wasn't it? Uh, a sucky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I lost interest. She did all the way. Well, she's just a slut now. Why do you got to turn your character into a slut? She's got a thing going on with Bill. They pretty much all were, if I remember right. In that sure, yeah, but that she was supposed to be the pure one, right? And they screwed it up. So, the end of a Quinn? Yeah, she. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it was well done in the beginning, dude. Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Lesson and Nielsen and Dracula dead and loving it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was so good. <laughs> yeah, Lesson and Nielsen in anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What a great transition because he made so many really good movies where he's a serious actor and then all of a sudden, what, Naked mm-hmm. Gun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was Police Airplane Squad man. first, wasn't it? Yeah. Airplane. Well, Naked Gun is kind of a police, police story movie, right? Well, don't forget Swamp Fox. Swamp. Well, Naked, yeah, Naked <laughs> Gun came after Police Squad, but it was based on Police Squad. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if Airplane came first, but yeah. No, you're right. Airplane was Yeah, first. exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, Leslie Nielsen's badass. Uh, let's see, Rathu, there was an old Dracula series from a few years ago where Drac was masquerading as an American industrialist in steampunk London, uh, London started the guy from the Tudors. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Joaquin Phoenix, and it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't Joaquin Phoenix. It wasn't? Who was it? Yeah, he's a guy from the Tudors, and uh, he played Elvis in a miniseries. No, you're oh, right. It's yeah. he looks like him though. Uh, what, what's um, his name? Um, 
It's so, uh, he's got a Welsh name. I can't think of it. Yeah. yeah. Tom but, Jones. No, God, no, Tom. Tom. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, that was a that was a pretty good series actually. I didn't mind that at all. Uh, someone in the chat will drop up his name, I'm sure. Uh, who would uh, win a fight, the woman in black or the lady in red? The lady in red, baby. Yeah, no, easy enough. Um. Uh, let's see. It was pretty decent. Only lasted one season. Yeah, well, I, I didn't mind it at all, Raythu. Uh, Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter. How long did it take for that to get mentioned? Oh, yeah. An hour. Yeah. Someone mentioned it yeah, earlier. I mentioned sure it it. So, it. Someone did. Okay. Oh, good. good on you. I'm, I'm an idiot then. That's all right, though. We all know that. Um, <clears throat> let's see Here's here. Sister. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. You finally spoke. Nice. Nice. Uh, Let's see. Uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Yeah, of course. Uh, Hammer was originally going to produce a Vampirella film back in the 1976 before they went uh, yep. out of business. And Corman uh, did a version in 1995. Yes, they did. Yeah. Uh, late. Um, Gina Davis came no, close, though. It was not good. No. Not awful. Not I always wanted bad. them to do Durham Red from. Um... As they've never done that either. That yeah, but an awesome vampire. Well, the problem with Vampirella is, what do you really do with her? I mean, she's just she's just TNA eye candy. I mean, that's really um, well, that's that's the same thing with Barbarella, you know. Yeah, no, it's it's you, you do uh, <laughs> yeah, you do like yeah. Hammer was going to do and make it like cheesecake and bloody and sexy. Yeah, that would have been beautiful. Yeah, that would have been beautiful. Yeah, yeah get, get, it needs to be B movie style. That's that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, the low budgetness. I mean, I was watching that Hammer Horror movie and I was like. I forgot how good the acting is in the movies it, it, as well, considering how low budget they are. But like you've got bats on wing on, on like on strings like flapping around, but the acting's spot on. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's you don't true. have that in like movies nowadays. I think they outact like most like American like famous actors nowadays. You know, they've got like coolness and suave about them. They well, just, they know. To be fair, the British Tom. the British actors have always uh, uh, been chasing uh, being the best thespian. That's what they're after. The Americans just want is? to be famous, dude. Yeah, it's oh, okay. I get you. Saying. I too will be the greatest lesbian. Yes, I'm sure you will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will be. Uh, and uh, I don't know, but did my ears deceive me, or did I hear someone disparage, disparaging Elvira? Did I hear that? <laughs> I don't know, but they're going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, but the, the man, the the chat is great today. We got some great conversations going on. Um, uh, uh, late phases. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about that movie. Uh, it's pretty good, and is uh, the last werewolf, werewolf movie I've seen. Uh, they don't make uh, many uh, of them. Uh, now, of course, that's a, a howling. Sonic vampire howling. Oh, we're going to switch over to war werewolves now, are we? All right. No, I love like... the howling. It's such a good movie. You're a werewolf in London. Yeah, it's yeah, like that is wedding. really good. The bit where the uh, the Nazi werewolves when they introduce me things so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about London after midnight? Says Nasser. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, no one's ever seen that movie. Yeah, so I've like, never uh, seen. It. Yeah, yeah, no one has. Pretty sure it involved. Involved. Probably ended no, in a it's probably a real thing. Uh, I disagree. The Buffy it series was, is pretty no good. No one's ever seen it because it's a lost movie. Nineteen twenties. Okay. Well, Dead Punk, uh, you have said some really interesting things today, and we appreciate you. So I'm not going to chastise you horribly for your opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, Dead Punk continues by saying, "The Hunger" with David Bowie and Catherine yep. uh, uh, ah, Deneuve yeah. Denier mm -hmm. uh, and Susan Sarandon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie, dude. There was also no, one with the uh, recently with a uh, not recently some some time back with Ooh, that. Um, that uh, Loki actor, what's his name? Oh yeah, that's a good oh, one too. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, what's her face? Um, Tom Hiddleston, Tilda Tilda Swinton. Yeah, it had actual vampires in it. It was great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Funny. actual vampires. <laughs> oh, Peter Peter McNichol as Renfield killed in a dead and loving the aided. Uh, Kindred, the embraced, uh, was a nighttime soap opera based on Vampire the Masquerade. Yes, it was. Started out, uh, started out rough, but quickly got better as uh, they wrote uh, C. Thomas Howell out of the show. Ended because huh. uh, the star died. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I remember the embraced. Uh, it was all right, uh, but um, it could have been better. I was a big Vampire the Masquerade fan, uh, actually, so it was really cool to see that. But uh, oh, there was another. Well, there was another vampire TV series that was on. It had a kind of typical handsome fella in it. Um, but it was very modernized. Uh, oh, damn it. What was that oh, called? Was he, I, no, I don't know if he was a cop. I don't think it was a cop. 
What's it called? Different Strokes or Silver Spoons? No, it wasn't either <laughs> one of those. Uh, but uh, damn, someone help me out in the chat, man. They really Talk everything. About, he said Nasser oh, said good night, guys. Was he and a they, cop? I don't know if he was the a cop. Forever um, night. Forever for, night. There yeah. it is. Forever night. Uh, uh, Bo- Booster. The, they are really him. blocking everything Nasser says. Nasser, dude, oh, I wonder you are on a list, brother. I told you, he he's up to something. I think he knows too much. Well, he said yeah. good night, guys, and 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 it got oh. blocked. He's on a list, yeah, yeah. dude. He's yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's on a list. Not freaking, on all sorts of lists. Man, figure mm-hmm. Nasser is in the algorithm, dude. Mm-hmm. Yep, he God is dang. becoming one with the machine. How? What has he done? He, he, he Nasser couldn't have done anything to get in that kind of trouble. I heard he's been stealing mailboxes. Not very well, do you? Oh no, <laughs> I guess yeah. not, dude. He is, uh, one with the with the oh, internet, God. one with the matrix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He is the lawn. Tell me about it. He hacked, he hacked into one too many servers. He did something, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, and of course, uh, Pablo is here. Uh, all hail and bow to Pablo. Uh, Pablo, Pablo, share your followers with me. Yeah, please. You have, I guess. You have so many to share. Yeah. Uh, Pablo <laughs> says, uh, "Should I draw Wal- uh, Raquel Welch always?" Always. Do what it. kind of question is that? Do of it. course you draw Raquel Welch. Uh, and, of course, uh, with that mention, do keep in mind we do a draw along here. Uh, we hope you guys will get involved with that. Just go over to the Twitter. Go to hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And drop in your draw along of your favorite Hammer Horror. Uh, any kind of character scene, whatever you want. And we'll take a look at that at the end of the show. And uh, thank you, Pablo. Looking forward to that. Uh, so, uh, Jonathan Ray- Reyes Mayers, uh, was dragging the TV series. Okay. Speaking yes, of Elvira, oh, it's always good to speak about Elvira. Uh, let's see. Uh, are we she still not, looks pretty good. she looks great for her age, dude. Uh, are we not going to talk plan, uh, plan nine from outer space with, uh, no, Bella? No, please don't. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, My the... sister made me spit through that because she was like, this is the worst movie ever made I let's like, watch no, it let's watch it yeah I was like, oh, God. So and you then you watch movies now and you're like actually, actually it's one of the better movies yeah, yeah i was about to say i know like compared to nowadays you know i thought it was cutie. i thought it was terrible then i saw the prequels <laughs> <laughs> yeah i it is sad what's what going on what is that movie that's actually about that director that johnny depp played him i forgot what it Ed was Wood. Yeah, Edward. Edward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, now the chat is seemingly moving on to werewolves, but uh, uh, Dead Punk <laughs> starts starts out with a great deep cut, uh, the Ginger Snaps trilogy for werewolves. Uh, I've oh, seen they it, they're really good, dude. Uh, I've really? seen they are good. It's Dead yeah. Punk. I didn't like, like it. 14. Well, it's very it's very raw and very realistic. Uh, take and on it's very it. hot topic. And there's a couple of hot chicks in it, yeah. But I mean, it's um, uh, I like Ginger Snaps quite a bit. Uh, I've seen London After Midnight on Turner Classic Movies, but it was a uh, nope. it was pieced together with a lot of stills. Oh, I see. Dark Shadows, True Blood, Forever Night. Thank you very much. True Blood with Christopher Maloney. Maloney, I don't know his name either. Uh, they did another vampire cop movie in the 2000s called Moonlight. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, so my favorite. I like Wolf Cop. Wolf Cop? Okay. <laughs> My favorite line, suck on this, you pole-smoking fashion victim. <laughs> Ooh, Ray Thulu with the dog soldiers. Yeah, babe. Dog oh, soldiers, dude. Nice. It's such a good film. Yeah, it is, dude. That's another British film there, Rabbit. You got, you, you're getting a few yeah, checks Yeah, we make tonight. good films. You do. You do. It's fair. Even the French make a good film every now and then. Oh, they do. They've they got some good films, definitely. Yeah, just not cuties. Oh yeah. God, please! Yeah. Oh Jesus, exactly. oh, God! Sure. Why did you? We bring should have been that doing. What's, what's the name? Is it Uzaki or whatever her name is? We should have been doing that. Everyone, for some reason, you know, you know what I mean. That character there, that that's uh, everyone's calling it a pedo character, even though it's like a oh, oh. teenage. You know, it's like a, a college student girl. Yeah, yeah I don't know. You don't know what I'm about Uzaki, Uzaki Chan or whatever. I mean, I don't know the anime because I don't watch like. Oh, you're talking about Giri Haji. Um. Uh. Yeah. No. No. My wife wanted to. Wa- we watched that because my wife, wa- you know, was like, "Oh, this is like a British collab. Let's watch it." And I was like, "Okay." So we watched it, and it it, it was pretty awful. 
uh, as far as just an overall, you know, dreary, hot mess. Uh, but uh, she, it pissed her off, dude, because there's a 16-year-old high school girl in there that they put into a uh, straight-up lesbian situation. And, uh, you know, I, I get the West is always wanting to shock you. I get this, and there are plenty of movies that have done this. I don't with... think we're talking about the same thing. No, I... not, the same thing at <laughs> not all. at all. I... Not at all, no. Are you sure? <laughs> He's I'm talking about sure. the big titted wee girl and the yeah, anime. He's talking about a bad anime, just Oh, okay. Well, it still applies because <laughs> it's British. So. No, it doesn't apply. It does. Well, it does. It, it, well, you guys are talking close. about cuties. What are you talking about? I was on that vein. Thank you. Booster, go find him the video. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, just the Biden. Let's let's uh, take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> I got your white box. Go ahead, brother. I white box you. Go ahead and show it. Hmm? Oh, I, I'm not actually showing anything. I li- we lied to you. Oh, okay, fine. All right. <laughs> but I do want to talk about one of my favorite French movies, The Intouchables. Have you seen that one? I don't know. It's not a porno about touching. It's like a movie about like a crippled guy who has like a black guy help him, and it's cool. oh that one. Yeah, that's a pretty good movie actually. Oh yeah. What was that movie? Was that parkour movie? The, the French parkour people. Oh, B thirteen. Oh, really? that was really fucking good film. I really That's enjoyed that. Love that movie. Yeah, I think it was District something. District. Yeah, nine. District. Like District thirteen. Yeah. It's uh, not related to District nine. No, no, no yeah, certainly yeah, not. But I do <laughs> like to think it's in the same universe. Yo, that would be cool, wouldn't it? That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, be. yeah. Jeremy Jones has come in there and they're saying hello to him. Hup, what's up there, Jeremy? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I, we're, we're, we're not, I don't really think we should talk about French movies there, uh, Booster. No, we shouldn't talk about French movies? No. Especially oh. the ones with the, you... the woman with the long armpit hair. And no, definitely not those. Yeah, that's definitely not. The no. French whores. Mm-hmm. You know what was a it's fun werewolf time? movie uh, that was French is Brotherhood of the Wolf. That was a good movie. Yeah, it was. Oh, Brotherhood of the Wolf was good. Well, yeah. really, if you like Frenchies, Booster, look at this. No. What am I looking at? <laughs> oh, what is this, JD? He's he's harming oh. you. He's harming you with no, the she, she, she... Should I uh should I call the police? What's going on? I think you might <laughs> What's want happening to, to me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's fair enough, Dead Punk. Uh, he says, I've seen Vampires vs. Zombies. Plan 9 from Outer Space is not the worst movie ever made. It's certainly yep. not, dude. There's a whole genre below it. That is fair. Um, <clears throat> but Vampira was the original Elvira. Yes, she was. Thank you, Joe. Uh, but Elvira, I think, just owns that genre of uh, nighttime uh, horror movie hosts. Uh, she's mm-hmm. just so campy and so funny. And, and she's sexy as hell as well. She don't take herself seriously either. Uh, Vamp- yeah, Vampira uh, took herself very seriously, dude. Yes, JD? What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> God. What? Uh, uh, let's see. Did you hear to... about, the, about the, the hiccups in the pipeline for the actual masquerade? Not the masquerade, the uh, the new one, the blood, blood Ties is supposed to be coming out. You talk about the, uh, the, the series the or the video game? The video game, yeah, the video game. Yeah, no, year. I, yeah, unfortunately, because I'm a big fan of uh, uh, all uh, the the uh, uh, White Wolf stuff, and uh, mm-hmm. I've been following it for years. It's it's sad, dude. Yeah. Oh, you know, after D and D, dude, you should run, uh, you should run by my masquerade. That'd be awesome. I could, I already ran one on the show. Oh, yeah, damn it, I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I love Vampire Masquerade. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, uh, and that was good. We had a beginning, middle, and end. It was a full story. It was good. Uh, but uh, but yeah no uh, White Wolf is cool. Uh, they were so innovative, uh, in- innovative. Someone help me out. Why can't I say that word? Innovative. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank smart. You. Got a booster moment. Let me smart. Go. I did have a booster moment. Did uh, he just help you out with the word? I don't know. He he did. He got me. Uh, but Ooh, oh um, my god. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do love. They were they 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 really did a great job. And uh, and they had a great background. Their story. Their cosmology. It was just brilliant. Uh, but they've been taken over by the SGWs, man. What, I guess, what are you going to do? Almost everything nowadays. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, Jesus, JD. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dead Punk says... Beast vampires with blue hair now. 
Yeah, I guess so, right? Uh, hey, well, they... How many of those shirts have you sold? And that's it. I was just around you there. What? How many of those uh, shirts have you sold? Uh, tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Oddly enough, none so far. What? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Mm. I know, right? Tell me about it. The, the JV <laughs> store doesn't even get visited anymore. I don't know. Okay, I I'm right. SG, I think the SJWs are canceling. I think <laughs> they are. They cancel Nasser. <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down so you guys are the JD fan club. I got I got it, I got it written down now. I know I understand now. Okay, uh, so uh, let me see. Uh, Dead Punk says uh, there was a British TV show that was uh, kind of like Buffy uh, about the last of the Van Helsing uh, line that included vampires called demons uh, from 20. Well, it was called Van Helsing and it wasn't great. Uh, a no, lot of people terrible. seem to like it. Uh, it's you're either yeah, like I it or like you don't. The kind of people fall into that. Yeah. What do What do you say? Stupid. The Sci-Fi Channel show? And maybe. Yeah, it seemed it felt yeah. like the like Sci-Fi level, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Am I looking like Christopher Lee yet? Dude, that thing uh, has been I'm badass since moment one. Oh, it looked like Christopher Lee as soon as you started it. Yeah, it's gorgeous, yeah, dude. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. I'm not as drunk today, so but I'm really. I need to. I need to get onto Photoshop. I really. I need to make some new brushes on this. I think. Because <laughs> I, I these built-in brushes are a bit annoying. Oh, there you go. Improving the technology. Isn't that nice? Uh, and uh, Junkyard Dunn uh, has a message for you, Booster. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's uh, he it. says, draw me like one of your French girls, Booster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> You'll be but very hairy. Yeah. Uh, really, really very does. oily. Yeah. No, uh, hey, where's my <laughs> thing? I paid for a thing. Where's my thing? Yeah. Oh, Booster? where's his thing? Uh, uh, you don't get it because the Kickstarter failed. Oh, oh okay. I was supposed to get a thing too. <laughs> so you don't, so you don't get shit. Oh, <laughs> that's but too bad. But you can go buy it on eBay. You can. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, GOP's uh, got got it available somewhere. Uh, Willie Mammoth says Hugh Jackman's Van Helsing. That's a guilty pleasure of mine. I actually enjoy. It. I know it's oh, a bad movie, yeah. but I I know yeah, it's. Yeah, it's yeah, Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, yeah. It's that yeah. Kate. It is it's Kate Beckinsale. Like she um, she owns my heart. Like don't tell my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Kate oh, Salem and those three vampire yeah. chicks were Our, our bear is that. yelling at me. The chase says, Busby, uh, you want a link, dude? <laughs> I will say the, the werewolves in that are some of the best. I, I love, yeah, I love that flick. I love wow. where they shed their I skin. Werewolf here. Ironic. Ironic. Oh, Ironic. Ironic. Uh, JD's doing something Ironic. different. Let me jump over here to Jason. Stick on him for a little bit. Ironic. Uh, on sale on the JD store next week. <laughs> Ray Thule says, anyone remember Beyond the Rave? Uh, it was a Hammer uh, web series uh, that they posted to MySpace. No, I don't, dude. That's kind of cool. Whoa, no. Wow. No, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. No I'm one mentioned Lair. A long time ago. It is, it is. And this is another deep cut here from Joe. Uh, he says, ooh, no one mentioned Lair of the White Worm. Oh, dude, I haven't thought about that movie oh, forever. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amanda Donner? Is that her name? Amanda Donahoe, yeah. Donahoe, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I'm, I'm trying and to figure out who, who, who was sexier, and her or uh, Selma Hayek? Selma. Right. Selma, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm sure. She's <laughs> badass, though. She is badass. I ain't going to take Watch nothing away from her. She's like, whoa. She is, whoa, dude. Uh, I have, I'm, I didn't even, I totally forgot about that movie. Thank you, Joe. Uh, and uh, uh, like I said, Art, if you want a link, you come in here and do some Hammer Horror if you'd like. If you like to draw along, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Ray Thule says, Seven Golden Vampires was the last of the Hammer Dracula series to get produced. Uh, the intended follow-up, uh, The Unquenchable Thirst of Dracula. Ooh, what a great name. Uh, finally got dug up uh, by Mark Gattis and uh, made it into a radio drama. That's kind of cool. Oh, cool. Hey. Is that like George Gattis' brother? I don't know. <laughs> But it's kind of cool. Uh, I like the little bit of the radio revival that we're seeing. It's kind of neat. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, it is that time, though. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, White Box off, even though uh, Vincent Price is, Price is coming alive over here. Dude. Jiminy is kicking it, dude. 
I don't uh, have a look at what else because I haven't looked at it. Oh, dude, yet. there's some beautiful <laughs> shit going on today, dude. This is no joke today. Are uh, you we... leaving just in time before you saw Artie Beers go, Buzz B? I saw it. I, I mentioned it. Uh, if And uh, Zach can drop a oh, link to him if he wants to come in here and do some art. Um, uh, but I'm going to go grab some coffee, as you guys know. I always do. Uh, so that means Booster is in charge. Yeah, you have to listen to me. I'm the boss now. He's the boss hey, now. Ooh, Alyssa Milano over here. Yeah, yeah. And Eric, I have to say, I yeah. love the whiteness of the eyes around the red Peter Cushing. That is something really cool about that. Of course, you'd love the whiteness. Yes, I would. I would. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, you know me. Uh, that... <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, go ahead, uh, Booster. You're in charge. Do remember to remind the people about the DNQFE. Uh, draw along, please. You mean the hashtag DNQFE that you can uh, submit your draw long artwork to, that one? That's going on with your mic. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm walking to the kitchen, so my microphone's going to shit itself a couple of times because I have a pie. <laughs> Me pie. <laughs> I don't know how pie affects your mic, but okay. I, I, I'm hungry. I just, you know, I need breakfast. So what's a good high breakfast? breakfast? <laughs> a, yeah, a, mince and, a mince and cheese pie. Mince what cheese. does that have An to do with your mic? Huh? Because I'm because I'm wireless headphones and I'm walking away from the computer, so it's gonna shit itself a little bit. So, isn't it? so, so. Hey, I empanadas last night. But, like but it has electrolytes. Uh, what you mean? What plants crave? <laughs> that it has what plants crave. It does have what plants crave, just like my mince and cheese uh, breakfast pie. <laughs> But, with tomato but, sauce. We, we, but the plants. <laughs> really have you woken up after drinking all night or something? That's free. like a that's a hung hangover kind of food. <laughs> oh no, I I was I was working hard. I was a working boy last night, and my legs are sore. So my footsies. Oh. How are your knees? My oh, knees. The cramps are locked in. I don't know what it is. It's just yeah. Just, oh, right. mate. I need to, I'm going to have a look at what else is I've seen. Over That's why I chose here. Or, or it won't come in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, lordy. Well, he's okay, just a no red one. Okay. Speaking of Vincent Price, I like him as Radican. Radican. That's, uh, that's my, that's my topic of choice. <laughs> is that he did old thriller. mouse detective movie. Yeah. Hey, I saw that oh, one. That's a great movie. It's terrifying. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. Right? Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah I, I am. I'm doing that. I'm currently doing that right now. Growing tell up, me more about it. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Does he look like a man? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how that song goes. It's close enough. Radican. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did she put up a fight? That was. That line is always weird. Were they, were they oh, beating the shit out enough. of each other back then? What's, what was going on in those uh, days? I think it was a rape. Uh, no meant yes. Rape. Beach rape. In oh. the 50s, no meant yes. So it doesn't count. Oh my god. Oh, that's dark. Yeah, 50s was a different time. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> Oh no! We had segregation back then. Segregation and rape. <laughs> segregation and pie, not you. That sounds like my kind of party. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this has gone off the rails now, and I've barely been here for two minutes. Holy shit! Shall I? I'll read the chat. That's what I'll do. I'll do that while I try to keep. You do that. I'm gonna make you some coffee now too. You, yeah, you go. Yeah, you go yeah, make yourself some like coffee. Too. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks to the newly minted, you know, comics go authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you got? <laughs> Ray, Fulu says Seven Golden Vampires was the last of the Hammer Drag series to get produced. Wow, that is all. That is all very fascinating. I don't know anything about Hammer Horror. I'm not going to lie to any of you guys. I did no research for this. Can like you I say did. You grew up in England. I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Uh, I, I came to New Zealand when I was four. I barely grew up in England. I, I barely existed in England. Yeah, I didn't know uh, they're all from the same studio till today. Uh huh. Pablo Romero goes art, and you can find Unquenchable first on the YouTube. <laughs> says Ray Fuller, and then Zach Bradley goes art, and Lady Celtic Moon says howdy all. H howdy, late. Howdy. Just saying hi to each other. 
Oh, and uh oh man, this is brutal. I got nothing to work with now. <laughs> Bunch of people helping me out here. How was your Frank video Stein. series? Oh, you mean oh, yeah. Valley Date? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I think the first episode has over 400 views, which is the highest that I've ever had on one of my things. It's pr go, doing know. pretty awesome, man. Mm -hmm. D&T did well on your channel, didn't it? It did, it did all right, actually. Uh, it did better on my channel than it did on an average uh, Chester Busby one. So don't yeah. tell him. Ooh. Actually, tell him. He'll be jealous. 140 views. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, if you missed last week's uh, drawn and quartered fan edition, it was on my channel, and we did the GI Joe because I wanted to uh, pander the JD over here. Well, speaking mm -hmm. of that, where's well, we take care of JD. <laughs> Don't go. Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot all about contact. messaging him. <laughs> mm -hmm. I almost sent him a message, but I was too lazy because. Uh, uh oh, crypto's found me. <laughs> Damn it! I need booster for feedback. Very sad. Yeah, I'm streaming, dude. I'm stream. I'm streaming. I'm getting harassed all over the place. Oh my god! Everyone wants my attention. I'm just the weak Kiwi boy trying to find himself in a dark world. The popular. Organ, organ, maybe either eaten or raped by a cat girl. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> hey, you went there. What? You went all the way. Why is, why is JD having rape fantasies about me? What's going on? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. That's what all bad comedians say. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's always my it's jokes right? as well. Not really. It's not really really right now, Booster. It's just a joke. I mean, dude, when you want to be, you know... It's a joke. Relax, baby. It's just a joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Booster. Huh? Yeah, well, what's up? <laughs> Would you want to be, you know, you know? It's a joke in your little secret. Blessed by this or eaten by this? Which one? Um, both. <laughs> <laughs> you want to like, from you the front or In an order that may surprise you. Oh my! Eaten and blessed. Yeah. Hey, Booster. What? Oh. What's up? You ever watch Deliverance? Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Do you like gladiator movies, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> you Have you ever seen a grown film? man naked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You, well, uh, you got a purty mouth. Square like a pig, boy. Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Oh, no. You wouldn't say that if you'd seen the movie. Which one? <laughs> the one that was filmed in your hometown, dude. Which one? Deliverance. Wait, Deliverance was filmed in E, North Carolina? Yeah. No, it was uh -huh. filmed in... Uh, and it's why I won't Louisville. go to North Carolina. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good reason. <laughs> that and your fucking uh, Bojangles Mafia you got going on over there. Huh? you like a pig for me. Uh, okay. A squid like a piggy boy. Wee! Oh no! What have you guys been? Oh goodness gracious! Uh, crypto's it's in been... here somewhere. That's not yeah, good. Yeah, crypto's found me, Jester. Oh. He wants my attention. He does. All right. Uh, so, and junkyard Dunn is talking about knee pads. What the hell are you people talking about? <laughs> Nothing, Chester. Don't look. Don't look. It may have gotten. It may have gotten bad here without your supervision. It might have been. It yeah. was a joke. It was a joke. Like <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> we get. We still get some great references here from Dead Punk, though. He says, "Blood and Donuts" from 1995 is one of his favorite uh, vampire guilt or guilty pleasures. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> Junk are done doing well on uh, joy joining some. Uh, Lunch and banter. Hope all is well uh, on your end. Oh, okay. People are talking to each other. Crypto is here. Damn it. I need booster for feedback. Very sad. Uh, uh oh. F these people. Sad. Who loves you, baby? What are you talking about, Crypto? Don't steal my dude. That's my dude. He's trying to, he's trying to steal me away with sweet, sweet words. It seems like it, oh. yeah. Oh, goodness. Does booster put up a fight? We'll find out. 
<laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh goodness Wilson po- uh, well, Weldon posted a time lapse of his scarlet earlier today and nice yeah, um, Matt, Matthew Weldon yeah uh, he's pretty good dude. All look bad. tell me about it no, we should well, have invited him I forgot they say to we said earlier because he came on last week <laughs> yeah no he did yeah so, uh, that's we great we him on this week but everyone forgot <laughs> Well, well, we're saying we forgot, but we know why he wouldn't come on because of the uh, <clears throat> c word. Yeah, Chester. Well, Chester. Their feud still rages on. It do- oh, does. It? Okay, it does. They yeah. got is there is there a Chester feud? What do I don't know about? Oh, oh, well, then Chester beef is happening. I believe is what the kids call it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why, but yes. Okay. No, um, they did. Come on, yeah. Chester. I hear drama sell, so I'm gonna it say does. It does. Enough. You should build it up. Yeah, I, I've heard that I'm too. That thousand uh, subs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm the last person who cares about it. Uh, but uh, people keep saying you gotta get that step, JT. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, YouTuber. Now I bow winkle. Yeah. <laughs> Crypto just says the damnedest things, you know. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it got a little out of hand when uh, you went around. Yeah, so while uh, Lady Celtic Moon is thanking the gods that I have returned, so thank you very much. I understand that. <laughs> I understand the <laughs> relevance. Um, uh, crypto yeah. is as savage as Velveteen Dream. I thought I read that as Velveteen Rabbit there for a minute. I was confused. But, uh, Velveteen uh, Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that was my daughter's favorite uh, favorite thing when she really? was a kid. Man, she loved Velveteen Rabbit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It is, dude. It is. I used to, when I, when my kids were young, I used to read read a lot of books to them mm-hmm. and tell stories and stuff like that. Stripper stories? No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. No, I, I actually created a little character called Fudgefoot. He's a little like a, a you know a, a young bear. Uh, uh, enough said. Enough said. Okay, thank you. Uh, but uh, it just made little stories with Fudgefoot and his family and friends and stuff. Yeah, Fudgefoot. Did, did he rip people uh, off? Yeah, yeah. Plantation, blah blah blah, slavery. We know. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, you got to have a little bit of that. Yeah. It all uh, works. But... Mm-hmm. Willie Mammoth says, uh, "Can we do a heavy metal cartoon fan edition some night? Uh, I will join in drawing for that one. Sure, dude. Put that on the oh, list, cool. Booster. That sounds great. Oh, put it on the list. But you know what? I, I don't think it'll work well. But I think a Nicholas Cage night would be hilarious. It would yeah, be, dude. That'd be, fan- that'd be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how many variations of Nicholas Cage you could draw. Oh, there are many." Please. Yes. Well, he's played everybody. He has, and yeah. the thing, the good he thing about Nicolas Cage, he'll do three horrible movies and then a freaking brilliant one. Yeah, yeah, it's he's great. really good at that. Yeah, and really he'll overact great. in all of them. He will, yep. he will. Uh, but sometimes it's appropriate though, like the uh, the Colorado yeah. Space. That movie's badass. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And what was the one he did before that? Uh, Mary. Or Mandy was good. Mandy, too. yeah, freaking awesome, dude. So he's put out two awesome movies in a row, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. Cage is he's an interesting dude, uh, but uh, yeah, no, definitely put it on a list though. I think next these guys are talking about doing Dragon Ball Z though. Tell me about it. Yes, what? well, that's yes. what they were talking about. Look at about. the topics. Oh my god, so are we doing that it's... next week? I guess well, I'm sorry, I'm 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 just uh distracted. Does Zachary have a hedgehog? I have a hedgehog. Oh, he does. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, little, uh, There's a wee hedgehog. Boy. There is a wee hedgehog. You know how a booster is in animals, dude. He kind of loses his shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and white box him. He's very cute. Oh, dude, do we do a hedgehog? Oh. Where did you get the hedgehog? Let's escape the hedgehog. It's interesting too. He's got some uh, uh, modeling on him uh, uh, for uh, color wise. Oh, he makes oh. noise. <gasps> did he squeak? He made noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's a squeaky boy. Well, we have found uh, a Booster's button. There it is. You got it, Zach. There you are. There you are. <laughs> He's licking himself. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> and he's, uh, I, I must have something on my hand because he's trying to eat me. There you go. Now, they are oh, cute. Let him, let him eat you. Yes. He's earned it. <laughs> yes. 
want to meet me. Uh, but I do oh, think we're doing Dragon Ball next week, I guess. I don't know. Booster and Pixel are in charge of that, so you guys uh, talk to them. But uh, I think uh, Dragon Ball is a great idea. Heavy Metal is a great idea. What What are the other uh, ideas in the pipeline, uh, Booster? Well, Jiminy's uh, drawing has given me an idea. We should do Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic, okay. yeah. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we do Transformers one night? You know, I would be up to see the challenge, but I'm not the one drawing it. I understand artists don't like that kind of stuff. So, uh, that'd be kind of that'd be cool. I think, uh, I think my, my case Miller is the only one who doesn't like it. I think everyone else uh, pretty much likes it. Well, Mike hates it. There's a, there's a different level, you know. He can't do squares. Oh, Junkyard Dunn says we need Gary Shipman's Nicholas Cage Superman for the show. Yes, uh, for that show. Dude, uh, Gary is always welcome here. We're talking about Gary's badass, man. Anytime he like, hey, what's up, uh, Mr. Miracle? How you doing, Adrian? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, that's very good, dude. You're 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 about an hour and a half late, but happy to have you here, man. Um <laughs> Well, I've been working on draw alongs, so oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. And I hope everyone's cool. doing that. Yeah, definitely go over to uh, Twitter and go to uh, hashtag DNQFE and drop your draw alongs in there, please. Um, let's see here, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. I don't know what that means, Pablo, but I'm sure it's dirty. It was a comic book. Comic book, yeah. great thing. Com- comic, comic book. book. Back in the '80s and '90s. Yeah, I don't and know that. TV show and a video game. It's pretty mm-hmm. popular. Damn, it's time. I missed it. When was it? 80s, 90s, or 80s? Yeah. Well, it was probably when I was living my life. Okay. Some of the uh, best art. Oh, oh wow. Oh, when I was living my life. Dang. Hey, band geek. Hold on here. Nice. <laughs> hey, man. I was I was busy, busy, busy boy in the early 90s. After he discovered girls. Yes. Mm-hmm. They, kept, they kept my attention. <laughs> Xenozoic well, tales. Yeah, the late 80s and early 90s were pretty freaky times. Kissing they were girls, awesome. what are you, a queer? Yeah, all day long, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the 80s was a great time for that. It seems like these days you can't do nothing without getting lawsuits. I don't know. Uh, but uh, the eight girls were, girls were up for in the 80s, man. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah. My they virginity were is protected by Christ. There you go. That's good. Good for you. Yeah. They were so freaky. You know, Chester and I, since we're about the same age, we might even be Eskimo brothers. We, you know, I haven't heard that in a long time. I do have a few Eskimo brothers. I do, actually. Yeah. Uh, I actually have an Eskimo brother that we made at the same time. You ever done that? You ever swap uh, swap chicks uh, in the same room together? Oh, no. That's, oh. that's gay. Hey, guys. Uh, you ever get AIDS in your the same room? Your dick is not the same <laughs> thing that no man's dick is touched. Well, you know, we, yeah. did, we never yeah. did Queer. the... We never did the. Uh, I've never done the two guys and one girl. Uh, but I've certainly oh. been in a room with more uh, uh, multiple, like an orgy, I guess you call it. Yeah, I've been to those. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Family show, everyone. <laughs> we call it an orgy. All right. <laughs> uh, but that. no, I mean, sure. I've, I've, I, you sorry, know, mom. The, sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Oh goodness! Goodness! Jimmy, you told me it would be wholesome tonight. And uh... <laughs> Jason, I thought you had mom, but Chester, he just—I don't know. There's something wrong with him. I... <laughs> they behaved so well last week, and now I think I know, when Booster was in charge, it was such a nice program. Okay, well, all right, well, we can, we can, we can yeah, switch I it. I only brought up rape once. <laughs> only the one. In the nose. Booster's <laughs> such a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I mean come on you guys haven't had any kind of orgy fun in your life really nope. in, uh... Uh, my aunt was an orgiest for her church oh, oh. <laughs> an orgiest for her church I've had organic fruit <laughs> wow I don't oh, know. No, but laugh. it's so cool. You people I guess need everyone's Jesus. missing out. <laughs> I don't know. I've been to been I've been to many uh, uh many Beltane parties, dude. Those are great. I don't know what that means. Oh, he's gonna go on about his Beltane parties again. What was like he he loves? What was that, Elrodimus? I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it rhymes with AIDS. You know, we didn't have to worry about that. You know, you do realize that the uh, whole AIDS thing was a gay thing, right? Oh yeah, that, that's what they say after they go to an orgy. 
<laughs> well, no, dude, it yeah, was. <laughs> it was. Bill says Chester is a, a, fr- uh, a frotage champion. I don't know what that means. I'm afraid, though. Uh, Claudio says uh, Xenozoic Tales is the comics uh, later renamed Cadillacs and uh, Dinosaurs. It's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Oh, awesome. There you go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mark and, Schultz, uh, right? Mark Schultz. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Uh, Claudio says we need to draw some Wasun boobies. I don't know what that is either. But uh, boobies are good. Uh, what are we saying, all Rod? I was just saying, Schultz is like one of the last like great American comic artists. Tell me about it. The only Schultz I know is the uh, Snoopy dude. He's a little bit better than him. A little bit? A little bit. Poor Schultz. Sound a little better. He was different. Yeah, just different style. Just a different style. Yeah. Bill is My having me Schultz, look up something um, here. So. Sounds a lot like Dave Stevens from Rocketeer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great classic, like, 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 uh, like Tarzan and uh, Al. Uh, sorry, Alec Raymond from uh, Flash Gordon. Yeah, very much like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, that was that was not funny at all. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, I was just checking well, up, his up his dirty dirty word. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it has to do with rubbing, JD. I think you're a bit too young. Yeah, those people idea. from South Mississippi, they really need to just not not get involved in those kind of things, JD. You'll be all right. They need Jesus. <laughs> they need Jesus. Uh, this Vincent Price is coming alive, though, J- uh, Jiminy. It looks really good. Your mom would be proud. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I did think it was Joe Exotic. Kind of looks like uh, Captain Kangaroo on crack. Is it disqualified since uh, Dr. Fives is AIP and not Hammer? What? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a, I don't care. Uh, Vin- he did Vincent that, like, Price. My all-time favorite horror movie. But I which thought was, uh, he was. Theater of Blood. <laughs> I I uh I wondered if anybody was gonna like point that out to Jiminy at some point. Oh, we no. we don't let point me keep going. we <laughs> don't point things <laughs> out to Jiminy. Come it's on, great. I think it's awesome, you dude. Know, I care. Like Vincent a, Price is like badass. A, a bobbed wig on it and a top hat, and he's the Witchfinder General from the Hammer. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Perfect. There you go. That's right. That's hey, look, right. there's a top hat right there. Bam. There it is. <laughs> Boom. Safe. <laughs> How long do we have left? Perfect. Uh, you have exactly. Uh, what is that? Uh, Eighteen twenty-eight minutes. So a half hour. Is that because my computer was saving? <laughs> oh no, no problem. I would say half hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like you uh, guys I are. I don't know uh, if I can be bothered to do anything else. <laughs> well, it looks I really can good. Carry dude. on, but I don't know. Really my wayward son. Sorry, I can I can resist that. It's, it's such a great good song. song. Good, good song. song. Yeah, good song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be more red to it. Yeah, know. a little more red. That's probably always a good idea. Uh, but uh, it is neat uh, seeing uh, Jiminy put this Vincent Price together. Yeah, at first I couldn't tell who it was, but now that it's starting to be drawn out, it's perfect Vincent Price from Dr. Fives, yeah. yeah. Great movie, though. It is good yeah. movie, yeah. One of my favorite. Fun movie. Fun revenge. It's on YouTube for free. Yeah, it is. A lot of Hammer you can find on YouTube or, like, Yep. Uh, uh, TV. I think I was watching them off of Vimeo or whatever that. Oh yeah, Vimeo. Yeah. Lots of yeah, on Vimeo. What's a what's a Vimeo? It's a it's website that has a lot of other cool old uh, yeah you know, videos that you can't find other places that other other places on the internet. And how much does that cost it's a month? Free. It's free. That's why it's free. awesome. Shit. I'll have E-I-M-E-O. to check it out. E I M E O. Yeah, you, you can find quite a lot of places. I had to find Gunhead in some weird archive site because oh, it's impossible geez. to find. Jesus, what a weird ass Japanese movie, dude. I love that movie. Yeah, Fantastic. I do too. I thought it was great. Uh, I didn't really take much time to pay attention, but I do believe that it's talking about some kind of mental psychosis, is probably what he's trying to reference there. I think it's a metaphor, that movie. I'm pretty sure. Probably. Yeah. That is a creepy ass Japanese um, movie, though. One I always liked was uh, Zaram. Zaram. Has anybody ever seen Zaram? 
No, not offhand. I was very familiar about They made maybe. an anime. They made an anime of it too. But it was actually a live action movie from the eighties where they're hunting down an alien. I've got I mean I've got a lot of like live action and Japanese like crazy movies. But I, I remember the do you remember Doom Megalopolis? Oh yeah. I've got oh, the yeah. live action of that and all the anime anime of it. And the live action of that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I Definitely. never saw the I never saw the live action of that. Oh, no. it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let me go and start going through these again. I've been watching here, Jiminy here for a while, but let's uh, let's give a little love over here. Uh, and for some reason, Zach dropped out. Anyone know why? I don't know. Hedgehog Hedgehog was eating him. Maybe Hedgehog ate him. Was it the orgy talk? Oh, uh, was it? Peanut yeah. Butter. Oh, yeah, it's true. They got feed his, uh... like, I don't want to catch the AIDS through digital means. Oh, God. Uh, is is the AIDS even a thing anymore? Well, well, they have... got, like, pills now, right? Or something. Yeah, know. you see a commercial yeah. 35 minutes on TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah they're like, everyone has AIDS, apparently, now. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Everyone That's has right. AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay now to have AIDS. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, uh, according to the commercials. That, that pill that yeah. keeps you from giving it to people, right? right. Uh, that's it's nice. okay to have sex with anyone. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. You know, solutions solved. Uh, Bill from Margo's Creation is saying, great work tonight, everyone. He's praising you. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And uh, Booster, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your orgy experiences? All right. Okay. All right. So... Tell us about that I was at a family reunion. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, <laughs> nice. There I was with my cousins. And oh, I, oh, oh, that sounds like a big Eddie, oh. Eddie Murphy joke. And and the wrist is for my therapist. Oh, 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 oh all right. <laughs> do you have a therapist? <laughs> Seems like all the young people do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we know hey, you guys, have a therapist. This. If you but, don't, JD, you definitely his, need one. Uh, but his orgy yeah. son is good. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is it's so funny. Uh, uh, oh my god, JD, what is this? <laughs> the aftermath. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, I don't have a therapist, but now I'm getting one. <laughs> you, you should. You should. Uh, Joe says uh, Booster's orgy story equals the aristocrats. Uh oh. Oh. That's a, that's an answer for you're a furry. Is that what you are? Are you a furry? You one of them furries? Oh no, you're probably a uh, what a My Little Pony. What do they call them? Bronies. Brony. Are you a brony? A brony. brony. I'm a brony, brony and a furry. Just Ooh. A furry brony. Oh nice. Yeah. nice. I'm I am all powerful of autism. What is your character <laughs> called? What do you call yourself? Um, Booster. Oh, I see. Oh, so you've been you've been you've been brony furrying underneath our, our noses the whole this damn whole time. time. Damn it! This whole time, and you damn didn't man. suspect a thing, you no. fools. I know, right? It's horrible. You gave us Yeah. The full name is uh, Booster Sparkle Hoofs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Booster Sparkle Hoofs. Booster Hoofs. Sparkle Hoofs. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, <laughs> So Ray Thule says, so best version of I Am Legend, The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price, or Omega yep. Man with uh, uh, Chuck Heston. Uh, Ooh, I will that, murder that anyone happened. who claims that uh, Will Smith uh, uh, crap fest <laughs> is the best. Terrible. Uh, it, it was. I, I don't, ah, man, uh, uh, Charles. Uh, tough. Uh, Heston did a good job, man, but I did really, really mm -hmm. like the uh, Vincent uh, Price movie. Vincent Price is way better. Much better I'm giving it. Yeah, it's closer get, to the book. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm giving it to Vincent Price too. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Vincent. Yeah. yeah, because he's part, Vincent Price. Well, part yeah. of it's the black and white though too, right? Yeah, yeah. that helps it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. Black though. and white films can be pretty creepy. They can be, you know. But Omega Man wasn't bad though. It, it wasn't at all. Uh, and, no, because you can't have no, the end of the good. world without Charlton Heston. It's fair. <laughs> that is fair. That, that is, is fair. true. For my cold, dead <laughs> hands. Uh, why did he star in? Uh, he told. Wait, the guy from uh, from uh, that gun, the the vigilante movie, uh, Death Wish. Huh? No, that's Charles Bronson. That's Charles oh, Bronson. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little, a little bit different. Yeah. My now that is so sad that the young generation doesn't know who know who Henson is. Or Heston. Because JD is a left wing 
anti-gun liberal. That's why. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Who said? Who said I'm a liberal? I did. Uh, everyone did. Like, yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah. I hate guns. I, I, I got those guys mixed up. Okay. Each. Guns kill people. Yeah. Guns are cool. <laughs> Charles Bronson is cool. cool. Fair enough. He is cool. Sexy man too. Yeah, Bronson, badass. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, uh, we. I'm trying to. There you go. We're trying. We are trying. You didn't know now, who he was. I'm giving a little bit of love here to Eric on the white uh, white boxing, but um, uh, this is a really cool piece you got going on, dude. I love your Peter Cushing. I I, I adore it. Uh, Do you actually think it looks like him? I think it's I think it's a great caricature. Yeah, um, and yeah, as a matter of fact, I am horrible with likenesses. Horrible. Now you know Rodimus and uh, Jiminy and. Uh, Dude, they're great with them. I am just oh, horrible. I'm terrible with them, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, I've seen you do really good ones. Yeah, so have I. Uh, but actually, you're kind of uh, doing a bit of an homage to uh, Alan tonight. Alan, have you seen what Eric's doing today? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Check it out. It's very cool, dude. Yeah. And who's that character standing behind? That's that the the character I thought was so interesting looking. He's kind of like a samurai vampire uh, from that Seven Vampire movie movie. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, yeah. It's like yeah, a looking right. hair and helmet. I'm yeah. drawing him too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. I just well, thought he looked awesome. It mm-hmm. does look cool, but I'm love. I'm just loving the. Uh, uh, I'm just loving the um, Peter Cushing. Uh, well, thank personally. you, sir. Nobody doing yeah. Frankenstein. No, uh, we didn't see any of that. No. We we do got a werewolf mm-hmm. over here from Alan. I like though. him. It's pretty good. I had thought about doing the Christopher Lee Frankenstein from was it Curse of a? Uh... Oh yes, yeah, the first one. That was cool. Yeah, that the first one was pretty cool. And you could, have done, you could have done Grand Moth Tarkin and Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you could have. That's true. Darth Vader was one of the the monsters. Uh, uh, the Willie Mammoth would like me to call him uh, the next time we have the uh, fan edition orgy night. Oh, okay, uh, I'll keep. I'll put uh, you on the list. Oh. Oh. And oh, not all next week. Up to me. Yeah. <laughs> Fly Prox Pro, Pro uh, who came in and uh, draw drew last week, but won't come on and draw with me on. Says, uh, "Tell me about it. Uh, why didn't <laughs> you invite the champ back this week, dude? You're always welcome. What are you talking about, Booster? Is he not on the list?" Huh? Fly Fox Pro. He... Put him on the list. Oh, my Get bad. The... He's on the list. Get him in the Discord. I, he is in the Discord. He, so he didn't put his hand up to uh, be oh. put as a participant. Fly Fox, so... Anytime you want to draw, you just say, "Hey, I want to go. I want to go tonight. Let's do it." So it's all his fault Dude. and not mine. It is all his fault and not mine. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Adrian. I recognize this uh, character you're doing now. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, now that's interesting. Uh, 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 Dead Punk puts down. I actually knew, uh, knew this piece of information. I, I think uh, Bronson was originally pitched to play Snake Plissken until John Carpenter vetoed the idea in favor of the younger Kurt Russell. Well, to be yeah. fair, I mean Kurt Russell. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, and Tim T says, "Why is my pee pee hard?" Uh, and they, some reason, they decided to uh, kick that out with the algorithm, but. Uh, uh, I, maybe I understand that. Best. Yeah, yeah. I, probably for the best. Uh, I do understand that a little bit, but the Nasser one, good night, guys, or everything he said, man, he, I can't believe everything. Nasser is in the algorithm. I can't believe He's it. controversial. He's controversial. He we, uh, uh, what is he, Indian? Yeah. Hard it, to tell. Yeah, I don't think he's Indian. I think he's Persian or something. Persian? Uh, Greek? No, I think he's Persian. Uh, it's all Greek to uh, me. What what, yeah. what 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 the heck did he do that got himself in the Matrix? Uh, huh? I don't know. That's that's. I'm he, actually he curious. He's too much. Yeah, because he's he's clearly in the algorithm because he was saying everything he was saying was normal thing. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's um, I don't know, dude. Gotta, you got to talk to him, Jiminy. Talk I try. He doesn't listen. Nasser doesn't listen. So I keep telling him, don't stop causing trouble, or else Google and Twitter they're all gonna ban you. And uh, he just laughed and said, I'm going to do what I want. I'm Nasser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe he, he might. Okay. Well, you know, interesting thing about he his also name, though. He slurs as well. Yeah. He does. He does. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, the interesting thing about his name, Nasser, uh, it is actually an Arabic name. Uh, and mm-hmm. uh, you see, it's very, very common in Egypt, actually. But it, it means, oh, yeah. it means yes, the, the protector. Oh, the YouTube. 
So uh, Nasser or Nasir? Nasser, it Nasser. would be prono- uh, proper uh, pronunciation, I think. Yeah, uh, but oh, it means the protector. Nasser. And maybe they just think he's a terrorist. That could be it. That could be it. There we go. That yeah, makes sense. That solved. Makes sense. Yeah. Solved. Yeah. Yeah, racism. Yeah, racism. I think he's wearing a MAGA hat. Well, so they, I think that's read some of his novels, and they decided we got to ban this guy. Oh, maybe. maybe. Uh, John oh, yeah. Diller says, What is this show? None of your business. Stop looking. <laughs> Thank Dillard, you. come in. <laughs> uh, uh, let's Dillard's see. Uh, probably been in a few of those. Yeah, Eric says uh, thank. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks. He says I'm glad I've actually finished something in two hours uh, limit. Uh, I am very uh, fond of Ingrid. Uh, now, of course, he's he's talking about the draw along. Uh, we do hope you guys have been drawing along. Uh, keep in mind that all you have to do is go to Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And uh, we will take a look at that at the end of the show, which will be coming up in 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes uh, countdown. And uh, we're going to, uh, you know, go through all of the art here and let you get a good look at it. And the booster's going to drop his straw poll. Uh, then you guys are voting. And while you're doing that, we're going to take a look at the draw along. So. You should make that. Please do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how is the draw along uh, looking tonight? Uh, we got a, a few entries uh, so far. We almost have five. Almost. Ooh, That's good. Almost. I don't know how that happens. Four, almost three, five. We have four and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Booster, you still haven't shown us your art for tonight. Oh, I didn't. Do it. Why? You got are you are you playing Warframe again? I'm actually not. I'm just I'm re- I'm recovering from loading sausage all night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, elaborate, please. Elaborate. What? I don't think oh, you know. Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know stop late at night loading sausage. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a night job. Right? Oh, I was told to come in, and they said, hey, uh, don't uh, well, you know, it was, I'm James. Don't you know, call me a booster. Say, hey, James, you know, we need you to come in. Oh, what do you want me to do? And they're like, oh, I want you to. I want you to load some sausage, mate. Yeah, that's Please called a strip like club uh, booster. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's called a strip club booster. I mean, I yeah, and think... then, you know, I stood in front of the conveyor belt, I got packets of sausages, and I put them on the conveyor belt so they could go in the cans. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, just, I thought it was straightforward. Why, why do you need me to explain this? <laughs> no, no need at all, I guess. Uh, is that a step up or a step down from the tomato job? Uh, step down because I had to actually work. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, no, 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 no. Or could you believe it? They didn't give me any off time to uh, play my Switch. Oh, too bad. Uh, John Diller says, right? funny thing about the name Nasser is that it is stupid and foreign. Thanks, John. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Dillard. Yeah, I try to enlighten you with a little bit of knowledge, and look what happens. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's, that's Diller for you. Yeah. What, JD? What, JD? You're the I one know. that has told us that uh, West Colorado is the most dangerous place on the face of the planet, and the Bojangles are going to kill you. What are you talking about? Just saying. They burned down a KFC. He did. He did. That's true. Yeah. So the uh, th- the authorities over there in uh, uh, mid South Texas uh, might be looking for you. They could find you here. Actually, no. no the, uh, okay. First of all, the Bojangles probably owns them. Oh, they own um, all of America now. That's what. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Especially the Everglades, where JD's from. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It took you long enough to get on board that boat there, uh, Mr. Hawkins. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. Damn. I, I, you know, I'm always amazed, Booster, at uh, this really cool art that goes on over here. But um, I don't know. It's just really it's nice. Okay. Can you do me a favor and find out what's going on with Zach, though? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get right to it. Thank you. Uh, but uh, that is a cool looking Wolfman, Alan. I like it, dude. And yes, that's the chick I was talking about, the the Latin girl. Thanks, bro. Well, you're welcome. Nice. Oh, yeah. look at those. Yeah, yeah, they are nice. Was it, uh... Yeah. Who was yeah. the woman? In Put that? some ghost in there. Some boobies. I don't remember her name, but she was very, very was pretty. It, uh, the one from Doctor Who. With the, with no. the cat eyes. What? No, no, it wasn't cat her. Eyes. Was it? What? Was it? No, I don't think so. Kate O'Mara? 
Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know that. I'm not good and with I've those things anyway. Of them. Mm. Cat eyes. Yeah, yeah Tingle Marm. He was the Ronnie of the Doctor Who. Now, what do you guys Jeez. think, uh, though? Just a kind of an off question here. Uh, what do you guys think about the the old this this type of Wolfman? You know, the old the, the original style of Wolfman compared to the more uh, modernized ones, like say, you know, uh, 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 American uh, Werewolf in London type. Uh, well, what do you guys think? Like right? Well, they're very that's different. The difference. The, this is a Wolfman, and then the other ones are Werewolf, right? Oh. Yeah, I always thought difference. the Wolfman looked super cheesy. That's how yeah. I've always seen it. Even when I was a kid, I thought it looked cheesy. Oh, really? But I like the like other one looks freaky. Yeah, when they did it. Oh, well, I don't I, hate I, it. It just seems cheesy. Well, Anthony Hopkins did a great, great rendition of the original uh, uh, Wolfman. Right. Yeah. yeah, I thought. Yeah. I, I, Yvonne yeah, Romaine? Yeah, I, I think or Catherine Filler? Catherine more like werewolf, and I call the werewolf Vikings. Oh, you're getting all underwear on us. All right. Taxi. Well, Wolfman and werewolf are two different things. Yeah, old yeah, Wolfman are normally like, well, I don't know, they're not as vicious, are they? Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the whole thing, but I know werewolves, you just think they're just vicious monsters that rip you apart. Mm -hmm. Wolfman are Which is, I love the, the, the like, vicious robot. stuff. So. Yeah, I kind of like the Nekopara, you know. I heard they're based on some kind of yokai. That, that's why I came up with this character. GD speaking in tongues. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked I, a lot of horror this week. We should do an actual good horror show. Yeah, no. 80s horror. I've said it before, but everyone loves horror. Oh, yeah. horror, horror is great, yeah. Um, I think, uh, now, the girl you're doing there, Alan, that's the servant girl, right? Not the named girl, right? Aren't they all? She was the, I can't remember, she was the one that's... Yeah, she was I'm the one that's always, like, uh, in all the posters, so... Yeah, no, so I think... She looks like the one that was in that first Dracula uh, movie as well in 58. Probably is. Yeah, yeah no, I think I, it is. I, I just don't remember her name. Pretty sure it's the... Uh, uh, I'm looking it up right now. I'm pretty sure it's the Servant Girl one uh, from... Look, yeah, it definitely is. I checked the picture. Yvonne Romaine. Her, her name is Yvonne Romaine. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yvonne Romaine. Beautiful girl, man. Beautiful. That is for sure. All right. Well, guys, uh, we're coming down nine minutes left. Uh, it's been a really nice two hours. We've had a lot to talk about, a lot of conversations. Booster even paid attention for about 20% of it, maybe. I maybe did, yeah. 18%. Yeah, I, I love um, hammers. <laughs> yes, you see, clearly. Really. So, wait, wait, it's all right, Booster. We'll do a Warframe drawn and quartered at some point, and then you can yeah. talk yeah, all night. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can talk his ears off about how good I am at Warframe. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, well, Nick Sounds says, like says there isn't movie. enough validate on DNQ, so there you go. Maybe we should do a mm, validate yeah, night. We get some validate. You can do that when uh, I'm yeah. on holiday. I'm not, not so bothered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Eric says fantastic art on display. You better believe it. Well, what's up with Zach, dude? You figure it out? Uh, he won't uh, respond to me, so I think we uh, disgusted him to the point that he was our limit. I think he's done with us. No, I oh, don't no, think so. He must have been having some trouble. Yeah. All right. Why? That's too yeah, bad. He had a really yeah, good piece. Blew up. Uh, maybe. Is he, he, a... is he in the home with Mike Barron? Has he not posted it in Twitter or Discord or something? <laughs> I don't see, uh, Have you seen him uh, post his art over on the uh, uh, DNQ QFE, dude? Check oh, it out. What, what's that? Uh, has he posted his art on DNQ? Oh, my brain tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Usually see, I'm the one drinking. Speak English right. or, you know, close to. No, uh, he's not on the hashtag either, so I'm, uh, I'll find him. Am I putting Adrian on the straw poll? Does he count tonight? Ah, if you want no, to. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. If you want to. I mean, I, I haven't been in this whole game, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll get zero. On it. It's okay. You can do an Ethan and come in and, uh, and steal it at the last five minutes. Perfect. Hey, yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dillard says, Yokai, uh, this conversation has gotten gay. Peace. All right, later, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know why I said Yokai. Yokai is like a Japanese fae or mythological creatures. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think, no, because JD mentioned it, I think. Yeah, Yokai. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yokai, pretty interesting. The whole thing about them is quite interesting. Uh, well, yeah, you know, there's very mass variety of lore well, based on them. 
it's interesting because most all of the Western, like I said, fae uh, or mythological creatures, they're all coming out of a, 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 a con- consistent vein coming out of Egypt, right? So uh, they're mm-hmm. all, you know, we, we all, they all have the same kind of characters. Uh, but in Asia, they have a different set because they're kind of separated from the rest of us. Uh, yeah. So it's different. And uh, and they're very very well established over what, a couple thousand years, right? So uh, yeah, they are very cool, dude. Yeah, everyone knows Kappa as well, don't they? Know what? He's like the most Kappa. Oh, Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Uh, yeah, Kappa. Yeah. I don't know how you pronounce it, but you know what I mean, Kappa, hmm. Kappa. The, sure. Yeah, the, that's like the most common one for what I mean. It's in like everything. Yeah. Well, I actually I don't know if you guys uh, watch Yong Ye, uh, uh, Yong Yi for the. Um, uh, video game stuff. I, I like his stuff. Uh, but I actually watched one of his videos this morning, uh, and it was talking about a new game coming out of China, some uh, uh, Game Science, I guess is the name of the company, uh, and it's called Black Myth, and it's a once again telling of the journey to the West, which the Chinese have, I, don't, I can't even count. I, no, I saw that, yeah. It looks I badass, that. dude. Yeah. It yeah, looks, oh, yeah, it looks, it looks, looks pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. That's what Dragon Ball pretty much is, right? Eh? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, here in Asia, particularly China, they have retold uh, the journey to the West so many times. I literally can't count <laughs> so the true. amount of TV shows, <laughs> movies, video games. It's just, it's, it's. There's one on insane. Netflix right now. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's it awful. is like Dragon Ball because Wukong literally translates to Goku. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, the original Dragon Ball is based on that. That's why Oolong's in it, and the yeah, Avalon. Like, you know, they've got all those characters. Nimbus Cloud. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. It's all based on that, and then obviously, then it becomes Saiyans and Mega the Blasts and epicness. But... Well, they yeah. just made it. Yeah, uh, then, the original then, story. Then it yeah. became Superman somewhere along the way. Somewhere along the way. No, no, yeah. Goku's better than Superman. Oh, oh, oh well, my no. God! <laughs> Those are fighting <laughs> words, bitch. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't care for Superman at all. Holy oh, wait, shit! Look, you know, I mean, oh, Vegeta would punch a hole through Superman. Let's be honest. Actually, the reality is Goku may be more popular than Superman internationally. But, I think so. Know. Yeah. Oh, I'd agree. I think he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's more powerful. Oh, you know, he's, he's not God. more powerful. You no. He is. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Goku's powerful everywhere. Superman's just powerful when there's a sun. Oh my God! All right. All right. I will remember this day. I will remember this day. <laughs> this is if you do Dragon Ball next week, I'll do it. Punching through Superman. Character. Yeah. But no, actually, this sounds. This sounds. Sounds like the lead to Dragon Ball next week, then. Oh, uh, we are. We are doing Dragon Ball <laughs> right. next week, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, Goku, uh, uh, Dragon Ball is is big hit around the world. Yeah, it's very popular. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what's more popular, though? What? Pokemon? One, one, one Piece. You think? One Piece. Is it? Dude, is it I mean, not? I love One Piece. I just, I, heard I, the sti- I just heard the statistics the other day for One Piece and its sales. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. It, okay. I mean, the sold, new arc of the minute is really good, so yeah, it's got it has, to it. it has sold past Spider-Man now. Oh, wow. That well, that's sense. not hard I mean, these it days. Is, it is a great yeah, story. No, that's not today. That's of all time. Oh, of yeah. course, that's as long as they've been keeping track of the record, basically, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a massive story. The only thing that sold good. more is Batman and Superman, and it's quickly coming up to beat Batman. Wow. Yeah. You know, the, cool. the, one of the the only real problems I had with uh, One Piece, because uh, it's an interesting story. It's an interesting uh, premise, right? Uh, the only real problem I had with it was is my kids uh, used to read the manga, right? And then, of course, yeah. the anime came out. The art yeah, in the mm-hmm. uh, manga is literally 100 times better than the, that anime. The anime is so oh, yeah. sloppy. Yeah, definitely. Easy. So some, Easy. some of it, when they get a guest animator and to do certain things is really good. But yeah, you're right. Definitely. But it's still fun to watch. But the manga is better. But it normally is, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. It's been off forever. They need to shut it down. It's like the Japanese version of The Simpsons. <laughs> I yeah. want to see what happens at the end. <laughs> well, he, he did announce that he's coming close to an end, which is like five he's years away. Well, well, Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> you, you know, Jiminy, they actually have a couple shows over here you, you guys wouldn't know about. Uh, they have uh, Asazai and they have Chibi Maruko. Uh, Maruko. Uh, these things have literally been going on for decades. So they do yeah. have a. It's like gigging a Torah. I mean, that that started. By and Guyver, from what I've heard. Uh, what? JD, the adults are talking now. I know. I know. <laughs> do they? Uh, do they I, still make? I've never finished. Richard Jane Anderson is awesome. 
do they still make <laughs> crown do they still make crown chin down there like in japan make do what? they still make shin chin i think oh yeah shin chin. Oh, yeah, yeah i know what you want to buy yeah oh <laughs> crayon crayon shin chan uh, crown chin yeah, yeah, crown they, um, yeah oh i don't know i think they might make movies occasionally but they're not making the show anymore no uh, i they mean just... i see okay, all the okay. stuff you're on about because i i mean obviously if you go on like torrent sites proper for specific things you, you can find everything i imagine you could Good. yeah sure yeah um, i mean i, I don't watch it either yeah, the guy who the guy who was never finished, AD, the <coughs> manga artist finished it without finishing it. Yeah, he never finished yeah. it. He never finished it. Just like Berserk's not finished yet. And, um, what was He'll it probably die yet? before it's finished. Yeah, like a, quite a few yeah. of them. But <laughs> Big Gray Man as well was one of my favorites, and that's not finished. Yeah. Well, the, oh, the, the finished. interesting oh, little thing about Crayon Shinchan is that was actually originally the original creator put that together because his his son died. And he did it wow. as a cathartic thing, oh, wow. uh, mm. and it became. But it was it wasn't intended for kids because if you ever watch Grand Shinchan, it's, it's it's more adult, you know, oriented. Uh, but the kids oh, yeah. picked it up here, and it became so popular with the kids. Uh, but uh, Grand Shinchan has a very interesting backstory, actually. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. You guys are driving like that always Eric like... and Boyd mad, aren't you? I don't Dragon know. Uh, is, you know what is even more popular than all that anime crap? Cocaine. I'm True. going to snort some if I have to hear and talk about it. <laughs> he says, I don't do drugs, but I will start now. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Just step in there. Yeah. It's a good time to start. You, you, time to start. you guys are killing Eric right now. Yeah. And Bill is right. Uh, Rabbit did just get his character killed with that statement. He did. Thank you, Bill. Thank you for standing up for the truth. What did I do? What was you, you dared Superman. to speak against Sully, Superman. But... Oh, you heard about Goki versus Superman. I'm, I'm not American. I don't care about the all American hero. Right? Oh, all right. All right. Like Captain America is one of the worst characters ever for me. Oh, I, I just never understood him. Oh, 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 oh. He's like Cyclops. I hate Cyclops. Ah, okay. Cyclops does suck. We'll give you that one. He's right. the oh, most boring God. character in the world. Yeah. <laughs> let's be honest i never read marvel or dc i read some dc but i never read any marvel i never really read dc other than batman so i never got into it i was all t- just dread and m- manga that, that's all i read I well it makes that, sense so, i mean you're yeah. in britain right it makes sense um yeah. uh, claudio says i well, finished... no, a lot of my friends read it but Oh, they did. I so I mean, I imagine yeah, you did get well, would be able to get American comics over there somewhere. Uh, oh but, no, uh, yeah, they, they, no, they've never not. It's just you know, I read a few comics and I got into music and skateboarding, so I never really read comics. Uh, you sound nice. girl. You sound like a girl. Yeah, that's fair. We'll go with that. I sound like a girl. Uh, <laughs> Claudio <laughs> says, I'm not a nerd, maybe. I know I am. <laughs> I'm trying to read what Claudio says. No, I'm saying he says I finished the Cell Saga and started a boo recently. I stopped watching back in the day, so I'm finishing it now. Vegeta is a useless dick. Fair enough. Turn, um, turn up. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, yeah, they did make him like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All I have to say to Claudio about that is turn back now. Turn back now. He's better yeah. in suit. Well, mm. Some parts in Super is cool, but yeah. Unfortunately. I, I like the um he's always overshadowed the whole I like time, the really. Goku black arc, but other than that, it was kind of boring as shit. And, it's like, uh, pi- and yeah. they turned Goku into a retard. It's like Piccolo. Yeah, they they like Piccolo was badass and he's not been in it in forever as anything yeah, they, other than just a guy. I don't know what they did to Super. Like were they watching too much DBZ abridged or something? Because they, <laughs> they made, made Goku oh God, I love brain <laughs> They made Goku brain did dumb and super stupider. Yes, they made him. Yeah, it's, it's not the same though. It's still better than GT. I mean, that that shit was awful. Well, oh, my God. We're getting into Dragon Ball, and a... the world is about to end. Uh, but you know what is <laughs> going to end? This show, because uh, we've come to the end of our two hours. Uh, we do appreciate the artists oh. coming here and banging it out like they have, and some really cool stuff. Hopefully, we do have somewhere to get a hold of Zach's picture so we can uh, look at it. Uh, but um, don't know what happened with him. Uh, something dropped. He was showing us this cute little hedgehog, and then uh, the world went to hell. It burned down. The hedgehog killed him. It did. Yeah, the hedgehog probably, I don't know, laser beam. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he, just, he just, he went, he went spastic. <laughs> uh, all right, but uh, we are going to end, so I'm going to end it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, pencils down, stylus is down, erasers down. We are done. Jiminy, I see you. I see you.
He's signing it. Uh, although uh, I do love what you've done. All right, guys, I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to look at each piece of art uh, very clearly. After I'm done with that, Booster's going to drop the straw poll, of course. And then we're going to take a look at the draw along. Once again, I uh, hope you guys have been drawing along. Just go over to Twitter and go to hashtag DNQFE and drop it in there. We'll take a look at it after. All right, Booster, here we go. We're going to start looking at this stuff. So uh, first one we got is uh, uh, Alan here from the Howl Comics. Ah, uh, dude, it's pretty badass, man. What do, what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty badass, spooky, and she's got some nice tits. She does. She <laughs> does in the real life too, or did? I don't know. She's probably dead by mm-hmm. now. Uh, but uh, or they're at her knees. I'm sure that's pretty scary. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my wife says that's why women wear bras so their tits don't hit their knees. I was like, all right, I'm good with that. <laughs> it depends on the age. It depends on the age, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I married uh, Albatross over here. Uh, I found, or I, I think that's the proper term. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah. A woman who actually has breasticles. Yeah, they're quite rare here. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think it's badass, Alan. Uh, how do you feel about your offer for today? Oh, uh, I'm actually uh, kind of proud of it. It's it, it kind of a throwback to the old, uh, like, 1970s horror comics I thought I was going for. So I don't know if I if I'll... If I got close to that, uh-huh. those guys were masters. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm a bit confused. I don't know if he's going to eat her or soil her. Kind of both. Kind of both. All right, both. All right, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. We're kind of going back to the <laughs> so- sausage packing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was the uh, 60s, man. Summer it was. Love. It was. That's fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Uh, kind of like uh, over there in Seattle, they're going to have them their uh, summer of love. Oh, Same really, kind of summer of love. Yeah, it didn't really turn out well for them, I think. Uh, but anyway, moving on. That's very nice. If you like uh, what you. Alan has done, definitely vote for him. The straw poll guys. Uh, coming up next, we have one Doom Rabbit and. Uh, I would say an a freaking epic Christopher Lee dude. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think here, Booster? Yeah. yeah. I think he should have been doing finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> done. Yeah, I thought that would have been oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have yeah. been cool. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, baby. I want a copy uh, of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Oh. Now this is a beautiful piece, uh, Rabbit. It really Love is it. nice. You captured it. And, and and like one of the other guys said in the beginning, I think it was Eric, uh, as soon as you started doing just the outline, I knew immediately who it was. So uh, yeah, it, cool. you certainly captured it. Yeah, nice. So if you guys like what Rabbit has done, definitely vote from the straw poll uh, for this amazing Christopher Lee as Count Dracula. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Moving down here, Booster, we have JD. And uh, I'll let you take it. Go ahead. Um, well, what do I say when we come to JD, Chester? Uh, for some reason, uh, I believe this is uh, this is Christopher Lee, is it? Talking to mm-hmm. Tony Stark? I think it's yes. Peter Cushing. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? yeah is it Vincent Christ- Price? Or? It's, I'm not it's, sure. It's, uh, it's it's actually um you know the Joker uh, maybe Dr- I think it's the Joker. No no no, no that's Dracula. Uh huh. Talking to Iron Man mm-hmm. and guess what Iron Man calls him? Ha- Hammer. Bingo. Because that's what Justin Hammer looked like in the old comics. Oh, I, I see. see. Yes, yes. Uh-huh, that's, uh-huh. that's very nice. Very nice. Uh, all right. If you like uh, uh, JD's uh, Marvel comic book uh, Hammer Studios mashup, ha- Hammer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then vote for him. I'd say, yeah, man, perfect. Uh, coming over here to uh, Jiminy Cricket, and uh, Jiminy has got—I don't know—you uh, do. How much more work do you have uh, to to be where you would consider it finished, Jiminy? It's pretty much done now. I mean, I, yeah. I, I if I wanted to, I, I'd tighten it up a little, but you know, it's ninety-nine percent done. Yeah, it looks cool. wonderful, yeah. though. Uh, Booster, what do you think of this? I'd love to see with some watercolors on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think he looks like he's done a lot of myth and and uh, houses tigers. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. You've never seen Mr. Fives, I guess. Yeah, it is beautiful, dude. Uh, I've and... seen it five times. Yeah, ah. you, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I can name it word for word. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, this is going to be difficult, Eric, as it often is over here. Uh, there's some really cool art. But if you guys like what Jiminy has done, uh, definitely vote for him in the straw poll. Coming up next, we have a... Take all your uh, pity votes. Yes, all, all the pity votes go to uh, Jiminy. That is fair. Uh, and, of course, uh, we have, next we have Eric Hawkins putting out some red. And I, I love this Peter Cushing uh, caricature. It's so badass. Uh, Booster, what are you thinking, man? 
I have no idea what this is from. I wasn't paying attention if you guys were talking about it. Was it, is he like a? It's a seven golden vampires. like vampires. a samurai versus Abraham seven Lincoln. Golden is Chinese. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not a samurai Japanese yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no. It's a hammer horror kung fu movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's Shaw Brothers. Fantastic. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I try to steer away when you guys do uh, actual people because I'm I'm just bad at likenesses. But I thought I'd come on it tonight anyway and give it a shot. I like yeah, it. Dude. You can tell that, that that's Peter oh, Cushion, I think. Yeah, it's Hammer Horror, but yeah. Hammer also worked with the Shaw Brothers to make yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Um, well, I think it's wonderful. It looks great. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. There's, there's, there's cheekbones. You can say, I think you can tell it's him straight away. Straight away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah I don't know if you buy my bike like this. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure, but I do think that Junkyard Not Done needs a little bit of punishment booster, and you're you're in charge of such things. Uh, he actually dared to say, "Please, Hammer, don't hurt him." <sighs> yeah, I, I get that reference. Oh, how oh Junkyard, you rascal! <laughs> oh, you my, uh, if you guys uh, like what Eric has done, definitely vote for him the straw poll. It's a beautiful piece, Eric. Congratulations, sir. Thanks, thanks. Uh, over here to Elronimus, who did several very interesting pieces. Uh, so, uh, Elrod, we'll just let you take it. Go ahead, man. Uh, we've got our Madame Bathroy that I may finish at some point. Nice. Mm-hmm. We have our color. That's piece. awesome. Color with a U, I believe they spell it. It reminds me of Vampire's they do. Bloodless style. Do. Oh, it's MC Hammer's album. <laughs> well, like, hammer time. I, I can't believe no one said it's hammer time the whole time. And then we've got our. Uh, <laughs> I MC love this hammer. Yeah. Falcon. Yeah, that, that's, that's that's very cool. Nice. Dude, that's very Tell cool. About it. Yeah, that's very <laughs> nice, cool. Nice titties. Oh. Nice titties. Yeah. Uh, looks like sting. Nice uh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I think these are all great. Did you have? Did you do another one or just those three? Elrod? Silence. Silence. Right? No, you were breaking up. Oh, was I? Like, oh, I do apologize. Yeah. That's all I heard. Yeah. Well, uh, they are no, That's beautiful. all I did is three. Oh, that's cool, dude. You only did uh, three? Oh, come on. Only oh, no. did three. It's a light knife. He, <laughs> he did, did color. Yeah, yeah. He did color. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I like the bathroom one, too. A little too. bit of the... the uh, He's off today. Come on, I'd love to see you do just one drawing once on the show. Just take he a whole did. two hours and one he picture. Did. Have, have he you did. done it? I've yeah, not seen he it. He did. That'd um, be cool. Yeah, it was cool. It always uh, uh, Rod's yeah. amazing. So, uh, uh, but I, I like the the first vampire lady though getting staked. That's pretty badass. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, guys, yeah. if you like it, definitely go over to Straw Poll and vote for Elrod. Uh, and then, uh, last but not and phallic symbols, vote for me. That's right. That's right. Bosoms are always good to vote for. Uh, and then, last but not least, coming in at the last minute, and I think it's a pretty good job, Booster. What do you think of uh, Adrian's offer here? It's a pretty a good one, but Adrian, do you want to show him the other one, or shall we save that for the uh, the NQ, the uh, draw along? Save that for the draw along. All right. Okay. okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> this is seven golden vampires, I'm guessing. It is. Well. It is. It is. Yes. It is. Yeah. It is. And uh, I, I don't know what happened to Zach or his thing, uh, his his piece. Uh, either mm-hmm. either one's thing. just bad. Yeah. Just uh, his his one. Art... He's, on the, he's on the straw poll anyway, but you're still not allowed to vote for him. You can't vote for him anyway. Not, that's true. He's yeah. He's a, technically a professional. He's not allowed. Uh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> technically. All right. Although I think all these guys are kind of professional one way or another, aren't they? Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much, Adrian. If you guys like what Adrian's done, uh, vote for him on the straw poll, but don't vote for Zachary. That's true. Uh, all right, no, let me go through them one more time real quick. We have Alan uh, from the Howl Comics and this really cool Wolfman here from Curse of the Wolfman. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have Count Dracula here, uh, Christopher Lee's amazing adaptation of it, or version of it. Uh, we have JD's uh, Iron Man. Perfect, mm-hmm. perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Christopher um, Lee's, uh, I mean, Christopher Lee's Dracula. Uh, perfect. Yeah, that's yeah, actually Peter Cushing, uh, but uh, rock on. Uh, we have uh, Vincent Price, who's damn right should be here, uh, from Jiminy Cricket. Very, very nice. Uh, we have a, another Peter Cushing here uh, from uh, Eric Hawkins, a beautiful thing. Uh, we have L. Rod's uh, Bosoms. 
Yeah, very nice. Very nice bosoms. And, of course, we have a uh, seven golden vampire offer, which is nice. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Booster's going to drop that straw poll. You guys go to vote. Right. And then we're going to take a look at the draw along right now, please. Right now. Right now. Oh, dang, Booster. You know what you should have done? You should have done Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. That's up Ooh, your alley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, well. Right now. Right now. Yeah. There it goes. All right. Perfect. Uh, now I'm going to go over here and white box booster and he's going to uh, take over and do the uh, draw along. Uh, we do uh, enjoy you guys doing them and we thank you for being part of it because this is always a fun part. So booster, take over. All righty. So first off, we have a Joe Maroon with a, uh, <laughs> a not really an RP, but a, uh, a Photoshop bit, right? But, yeah. you know, with the, but it's still freaking great. Right? The terror of the oily bird. Curse of the Kiwi. <laughs> The white <laughs> uh, Peter Cushing there. Yeah, very nice. Cool. And a uh, just a Busby drawn by yours truly in the background. Oh, nice. There you go. Uh, I didn't recognize Peter, myself. I, th I thought I was a bear. Yeah, well, I look and like a schnauzer. What the hell? And also credited Israel Miller as the Kiwi. Oh, very nice, production. very nice. Drawn, very nice. drawn a quarter production for the same purposes only. Prohibited in Rhode Island, Arkansas, and what is that? <laughs> Pity, Kentucky. Uh, well, I'm Kentucky. I'm from Rhode Island, so you know. I think that's the joke. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. And next we have a uh, Jason Gonzalez. That's cool. Ooh, can't help with the. But the pronunciation that do is it racist? I don't know. Anyway, we have a werewolf. Or cross nice. curse of the werewolf. Looking very spooky. It's very spooky. Do you think so, Shista? I like it, dude. I think it's pretty cool uh, uh, werewolf, actually. Yeah. That's really awesome. Mm. Thank you very much, Jason Gonzalez. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, here we are. Adrian Zelopi. <laughs> <laughs> with a, a oh, Chester Summer. <laughs> oh, Chester Summer. Uh, we have a... Uh, Busby the Vampire. <laughs> Very nice. I'm getting a little peek, got a little little boobage thing going on there. Nice, 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 nice. I thought you'd appreciate that. Yeah, yeah thank you very much, Adrian. It's very nice. That's cool. Yeah, even, I love the Japanese girl. That came out perfect, dude. <laughs> even as a uh, even as a vampire, he's got the yellow fever. I do. You're damn right, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is awesome. Oh, Chester Summer. And, uh, here we are, Blue Moon cartoons with uh, this Frankenstein here. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Frank has seen better days, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but the, it being square makes me think of SpongeBob. And that's why I said. <laughs> oh shit! It looks better than the movie version. Mm -hmm. yeah, as yeah. always, Blue Moon Cartoons is an awesome job. It is awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. Chuck mm -hmm. Dunn said Biden. <laughs> oh yeah there you no. go perfect yeah you're done know. nice nice reference nice reference all right oh. eric and boyd and his uh cocaine haze managed to draw us this nice <laughs> <laughs> he says hey, here's my finished piece my attempt uh ingrid pitt from vampire lovers mm. i actually did this in uh the two hour limit very nice dude very cool. nice yeah, very nice. yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Ingrid pitt can't yeah, go wrong. Don't take that cocaine more often. Yeah, you should. That's the message of the show. Take cocaine. More often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. During an orgy. D oh, yes. During an orgy. Uh -huh. Perfect. You want to have a Junkyard Dun D and Q says Hammer Horror Night. Not knowledgeable on the topic, but was able to squeeze out a quick little doodle. So he's a Ooh. vampire chicky. That's I like it, dude. It's nice, dude. Teeth mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, the teeth are great. I like the eyes, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd let her bite me. Of course you would, dude. Mm -hmm. She kind of mm -hmm. looks like the crack whore you were talking about, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks, to be honest. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. give her a call. You should, dude. Anyway. See how she's doing. Yeah. See if she still mm -hmm. has all her hair, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So long. Yeah. It also oh, yeah. needs to promote his comic. It still apparently needs to promote his comic for a while now. <laughs> uh -huh. Is drawing a uh, sacrifice. Who has the um? Is that the uh, Jewish star? Or is that the Triforce? I can't uh, tell. I, well, there, oh, there, 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 no, no, it's probably uh, yeah, it's yeah, a it's Jewish perfect. Triforce. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's, a, it's, it's from a, that movie. Is it Devil Rides or something? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. What, Legend, Legend of Zelda Berg? What, what's going? On? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's nice yeah. though. I like it. It's very cool, dude. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's awesome, though. <coughs> so, thank you very much, Tulfa. Yeah, Tulfa. Isn't right. that a Beautiful isn't music. that a Illuminati symbol? Uh, I mean the the the, the Jewish symbol. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, a Masonic vampire Claudio, Claudio, <laughs> very nice. The zombies. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is cool, dude. They, Plague of the Zombies. What, what here? That's, that's a like, that's a good Hammer film that nobody talks about ever. Is this mm-hmm. a kiwi? Is this like a skewer or like a kebab or something? Or I, I I think it's uh, supposed to be a voodoo doll, but uh, it's actually a kiwi, a fried kiwi is what it is. Fried no! kiwi on a stick. Yes. On a stick. On his stick. On his stick. Very nice, Claudio. I like it. I like it. I like the zombies, particularly on the left. That's a good zombie, dude. Yeah. Did Punk Edge has gotten his Christopher Lee Dracula. Nice. Very nice, dude. Yeah, that's cool. I, I like it. He, he looks very excited to nibble someone. He does, as he should be. All those hotties mm-hmm. in his movies, you better believe it. I wonder how many of those he's banged. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. Well, I mean, he's, he's Christopher there. Lee. He can bang anybody he wants. He has a license, didn't you know? What, 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 he's yeah. Are you saying he banged uh, Frodo Baggins? Come on. He, me, well, hey, you <laughs> never know. Absolutely you know. Frodo Baggins. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, he left him sore on. Oh, 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 oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn, I wasn't ready for that. Ah, ah. <laughs> Ah, and, uh, I feel like he should be removed from the straw poll, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, <yeah. laughs> The Gorgon from Hammer Films. Very nice, oh, dude. Yeah. Dude, did uh, Hammer? Did the Hammer Studios do Clash of the Titans? No. No, no, they did a movie called Gorgon. Oh, they did? All right, I didn't know that. Uh, it looks awesome, though. I know that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's very cool, dude. It's actually Weldon-esque. It is a wee bit, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, JCM. And I b- believe that is the last of it. It is. That is all of them. So that's that was actually quite a lot. Thank you very much. That everyone. was a lot, dude. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for drawing along and being part of that. It is really cool. Uh, so Booster, yeah, really Booster as usual, has to pick the winner. So go ahead, Booster. I have to pick the wiener. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, that's what you've been doing all day, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope he hasn't been picking it. it. <laughs> <laughs> what a good Are you biased if I pick this one? No, I think it, I, it's my favorite, too. That's cool. uh, it's, cool. it's, it's, it's really cool, Adrian, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I get me some it, just needs a, it needs a kiwi poking out from under one of the boots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is perfect though. Uh it yes, the Biden reference was was perfectly timed. It's too Beautiful. To tag. Beautiful. All right guys, uh well uh let me go over here and vote for myself. Thank you for the draw along and uh I'll go over here and uh make my decisions uh on who I'm going to vote for cuz you guys know who I'm going to vote for anyway. But uh oh, it's done. Now see how quick that was. Uh all right. I did it. Yeah. Uh so let's see what that was quick. It's just, just wrong, Chester. That's just wrong. It's rude. Why? <laughs> It's not rude. That's who he always votes for. Yeah. I know. Uh, all right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, we got 15 votes in here. Hopefully, we'll have a few more if you come in. I'll leave it for a minute. Oh, we got 18, 19. There it is. Oh, it's going to hit voting. 20 here in a minute. Oh, whoa. Ooh, the Everything vote. Has changed. The vote is jumping around. I wonder why. Oh, grab it. I'm waiting for you to vote. I'll just uh, pop it back in there. Hang did up. you Look vote yet, Booster? I did. I'll grab did. it so he can go to the so-called pro edition and draw like some cape superhero but really way too good yeah all right guys when it hits 20 i'm going to stop it so uh we'll wait a minute uh but uh yeah it was a great show today booster we had some really cool art in here um uh which one did you like best who'd you vote for huh i voted um i'm not gonna lie i was gonna vote jd but then i slipped (laughs) He slipped. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. My bro- I had a brain tumor. <laughs> Tell me about it. Right? So who did you slip well, on to? Or into, I guess. <laughs> so so I, I voted the Hell Comics. Well, the hell. There yeah. you go. Perfect. Default Perfect. vote. By Default vote. That's, that's, that's nice. But and we are, vote for you. we are at 20, so I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to call it right now. All right. I'm going to so win let's... like Biden. Possibly. 
possibly. No, you came close though. Uh, but uh, no, we had a clear winner today, and I get why because it's a it's a really amazing piece. But there are a lot of amazing pieces. Uh, unfortunately, on the bottom we do have three non-vote entries though. Uh, two of them oh, make sense. Guess. The last one is a bit sad though. Uh, so, uh, but uh, Zachary Bradley <laughs> left, and you can't vote for him. <laughs> JD and Adrian Tepes, the latest boy, all got nothing. But that's all right. Adrian came in late. Zach left, and uh, JD's here. So perfect. Uh, all right. So uh, moving up, uh, we have a, a one, two, three. So in fourth runner-up spot. We have Eric Hawkins with his absolutely killer Peter Cushing uh, with two votes. Uh, but thank you very much for coming in, sir. I loved it, uh, personally. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only because I, I voted for myself right. twice. Very good. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know how you thanks, figured that thanks. out. Perfect, yeah. Uh, all right, coming up in here in a third place, uh, taking the bronze medal today and walking away with it, as he usually does, uh, we have with three votes, El Rodimus Flash and his uh, bevy of babes. Very nice, dude. Claps for El Rodimus. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, then we have a tie for the civil medal. Uh, four votes uh, each of them. Uh, and uh, uh, we have Jiminy from Illustrations by Design and, of course, Alan from The Howl Comics. Uh, both of them putting out some pretty badass stuff, man. So uh, thank you guys very much for that. And claps indeed. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, but I would say I would say the justified winner of today, because that is a badass Christopher Lee, dude, uh, oh, yeah. is one Doom Rabbit with seven votes. Gold medal and all. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. All right, guys. Yeah. This is an issue for us. Uh, no, nice. it isn't, because next week we're Ready off. Ready to go. Oh, no, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's perfect timing, actually. It worked out perfect. It did. Uh, So, uh, of course, we're going to be sending uh, Rabbit over to the Pro Edition on Mike's show next week. It seems like he's being fairly consistent again. Uh, So, Rabbit, make sure you send that uh, picture to my Twitter, and I will uh, pass it off to Mike. Uh, Edwin is uh, not involved with things right now because he's currently uh, working with the the Republican Party of Hawaii. Talk about uh, wasting Mm, someone's time. Uh, They they had a guest host last week, or this week. Oh, they did. Uh, Who did they have? Mecca and Cheese. Oh, perfect. I wonder how he's trying out for the role. Oh, there you go. I hope Larry did. Yeah, it was actually. He called called Mecca McCheese, but he uh, he, he didn't want me, huh? No, of course not. It was actually one of the. I have a question. What's Mike going to say when I send him the picture that's in color? (laughs) <laughs> oh, he he won't care. He won't care. He won't uh, care. I mean, I joke around around a lot about Mike because it's fun, but he's actually a very copacetic fella, to be to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but uh, it's just fun to pick on him, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, we but like you, to bully you on the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that, that's that's why, because you you know, Mike's not going to get mad about it. He he gets he thinks it's funny. Uh, but uh, but I will send it over, and uh, we'll definitely uh, get him on the show next week, which is perfect because we're not doing Bugbear Space for next week uh, because Bill's on a vacation, so it uh, works out just right. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for coming in and being part of uh, the show. We we always appreciate you. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through and let everybody get their closing statements. And we're going to end the day. Uh, so uh, let's start and just go left to right. Well, at least from, from my point of view, I guess. Adrian, sir, closing comments. Um, if you haven't checked out My Hero Academia yet, I just started reading it and watching it. It's really good. Yeah. Probably better superhero storytelling than anything I've read out of Marvel in the last five years. I'd say I'd say past ten years actually. Maybe ten years, yeah. Yeah. I would even Mm, go that far. Yeah, Yeah, it is really cool. Um, My my kids introduced that to me. That's really good, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, you can find me at Adrian T twenty ninety nine on Twitter. Sweet. All right. Well, thank you very much. And of course, Mortal V is already on it. Uh, he's the uh, master moderator here, and uh, he's uh, he does an awesome job. So thank you very much, Mortal V, and thank you, Adrian. Uh, Booster. No, me. I'm Booster. I'm Booster Kiwi on the Twitter and on the YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm not really doing much on Twitter, but um, on the YouTube though, I I have like this series, this Valley Date series, if you could believe it, and it's almost it's coming to a close. The last episode will be coming out in a few days, and it'll be the big finale, because this is one hell of a dead horse. I imagine. I can only beat it for so long. (laughs) Well, it's a transgender dating game, right? Uh, Transgender dating sim, yes. Yeah. So what you're telling us is that you need to start a campaign on Indiegogo to fund your funding of the game so that you can get a full copy of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it because that will end up being like a 50 episode series, and it, and uh, I don't want to become redundant. I want. I want to have a nice <laughs> impact, like a fun little playthrough, and then be done with it forever. So what's uh so what's, what's the your, future project? What's then? your next plan? Yeah. Yeah. Next plan. I'm waiting for that I am Jesus Christ of the game to come out so I can be Booster Christ <laughs> and go. make a lot of yeah. inappropriate jokes. There you go. Perfect. Sounds yeah, good. Sounds yeah. All right, guys. Well, check out Booster's content. I hear it's funny, although I couldn't get through 20 seconds of it, but I'll, I'll try. Yeah. I'll keep trying. That's That's been the uh, general consensus, right? Some people can either uh, watch all of it and be like, I need more of this, and some people go, Christ, I could barely get through 30 seconds of that. What was that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That's the comment I keep leaving on him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, well, moving on to El Rodimus. Uh, you can find me at elrod.elrod on the Instagram. And, uh, you know, I'm around around town. Sweet. Very I'm that good. guy. I'll be panhandling. Yeah. And don't look at the main page of Instagram because it's just full of naked women. I don't know. It's a horrible that's place. Twitter. You know, mine has oh, no gross. naked women. Oh, Not even naked, naked mine. woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Elrod. Uh, moving down here, we have Eric Hawkins. Hey, um, you can find the Zelf World uh, still in demand on Indiegogo. Altogether, between Kickstarter and Indiegogo, we raised uh, $5,100 and almost uh, 200 backers. I will be finished with fulfillment probably this week, except for ones I don't have addresses for on Kickstarter. And then uh, I will, I'll leave this open for probably a couple more weeks. But also, in addition to this, Go sign up for Otis Stein, which will be coming out soon. Probably next month they'll launch the campaign. That's from Skinny, uh, if you've seen him on Twitter and uh, YouTube. Sweet. All right. Well, you should tell him. It's horror related. Otis Stein. All right. Well, you should tell him to come on over to uh, uh, one of our shows so we can talk to him and look at the uh, project when it launches. I have. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that sounds fun. All right. Well, thank you very much, Eric. Uh, Moving down here, we have have Jason from... uh, illustration by design sir go ahead hello hello everybody um yeah you can find me on youtube at my youtube channel illustration by design so uh i think uh if uh mortal v or i put the link in the uh in the chat but yeah just follow me over there and you'll see me doing uh live streams every once in a while and uh every 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 other once in a while i'll, I'll be working on nasser's book so <laughs> yeah dude do me a favor and find out what the hell nasser did to be part of the actual youtube algorithm i'm, I'm I, serious I, I, will make, I will ask him yeah. but there's no guarantee that he'll tell me the police may be looking for him i don't know they might be i don't know dude that's <laughs> weird probably on the run yeah. probably on the run so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand okay. that the algorithm listening for stuff and hitting, we've been hit a few times, but the fact that anything you put in the chat is being blocked, clearly his name has been uh, uh, been labeled. So I was like, damn. <laughs> dude, something. I find that hilarious. He did, he did something, man. Pissed off somebody. Uh, yeah. Uh, he seems to be good at that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, <laughs> Jiminy. <laughs> Always awesome to have you in. Perfect art. Uh, JD, tell us what's going on in uh, South Florida. Okay, my name is JD the Comic Kotaku. <laughs> and pretty much you can find me at JD Comic Kotaku at you know or JD Comic Kotaku Sinoboy on my on my Twitter and on Instagram as comic underscore otaku underscore press or you can find my books at comic otaku press at indieplan.com comic otaku press. Eee. I see. Wow. And you, you named yourself Shinoboy? Is that what you did? Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. Yeah, if I, it, it, it is. Oh, please explain. You wouldn't get it, Tucker. It's funny. It's fair uh, It's enough. like the combination of Shin. <laughs> Tell us about it. Boy. It. Tell about it. Uh, Adrian sounded so dejected. <laughs> Buy the t now. Oh, no. Uh, but uh, all right. Well, thank you very much, JD. And the guys, definitely check it out. You can support uh, JD in his comics. Awesome. Uh, very industrious. Uh, moving down over here, we have, uh, of course, uh, well, let's just do him last. Uh, Alan from the Howl Comics, sir. Hey. Find me at uh, Twitter and Instagram at the Howl Comics. Um, what you call it? Uh, the Lost Pages is still out. It's uh, on demand, I believe, already. Like, we're blown away. Uh, oh, yeah, we're back that. And, uh, yeah, drawing more boobies it, near you. It. 
Uh, there you go. Boobies are always good. These are good boobies. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, Mortal V says over here in the chat, uh, there's some weird stuff going on with YouTube. I've seen a Google moderation team deleting messages and streams at times. Uh, yeah, no, I've heard about that too, but I just don't know what Nasser did. Because, I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. Just normal stuff like good night. Uh, but everything he said was uh, was held for uh, review. So he did something. Anyway, thank you very much, Alan. Uh, and last but certainly not least, guys, uh, we have one Doom Rabbit, our winner from today, going over to Mike's show, and he's going to bang it out, whatever they're doing for sure. So, uh, Rabbit, go ahead. Hey, you can find me, uh, one Doom Rabbit, on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> I have nothing else. That's it. <laughs> Sweet. No, no, good. Definitely check it out and uh, stay away from Instagram. Good. Don't go there. It's a bad place. I'm trying to find it. Jiminy, what, what, what's your Twitter? I'm trying to add at you on my thing. What's my what? Twitter. Twitter. Oh, Twitter. It's uh, at J-R-O-B-I-N-Z. Oh, I find it. Yeah, I find it. Okay. Got it? Cool. You're, oh, on my, you're on my thing. You're on my list. I, just, I, I didn't know what it was. I was trying to put okay. uh, something else in. <laughs> There you go. Jiminy, what's your home address? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your work link? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, we come to the end of another show. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, it's uh, always a lot of fun. Uh, we love you guys uh, coming in, uh, both our panelists as well as our chat. And uh, Booster loves you even more. Long time even. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but uh, we'll check you out next week. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, this channel is uh, down for the next uh, few days. Uh, we're going to come back to the TFT in the future. Right now, uh, several, several of the panelists are very busy, uh, so we'll come back to that with a good show in the uh, in the future. Uh, but we are having comic uh, comics book uh, comics news today, of course, on the Monday. So we'll see you back then. Thank you very much. And uh, <clears throat> who should not must stay? So well, I guess the winner should. So uh, rabbit. Oh no! Don't you... give it me. No, don't give it to. Oh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, JD. JD. Oh my God. Uh, okay, JD. Go ahead. Do not find a cat girl and do snoo snoo, because they do snoo snoo very hard. Oh my. <laughs> English, motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, <laughs> namaste. All right. Later, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>